wako hapa Pastor Sindani give us the word Ah uh, bwana sifiwe Jamii uh, kanisa marafiki majirani waliofika Bwana asifiwe Nashukuru ni kwa ajili ya wakuu Nataka nisome kitabu cha mwongoso Kinatoka katika Efeso ne penyewe kwa uwezo wa bwana nitasoma basi nduku zangu wapendwa wangu nimewaonea shauku furaha yangu na taji yangu hivyo simameni imara katika bwana wapenzi wa nameona machungu tulio nayo lakini anatuomba ya kwamba tuwe imara tuwe imara katika ushirika wetu kama jamii tuwe imara katika maombolezi katika mjuu ili kwamba tufanikishe ugeni wa mpendwa tubarikiwe sana tutaomba Mwenyezi Mungu uishie mbinguni mfalme wa amani Tunakushukuru tena ni kwa sababu ya ulezi na utetezi ambao umetutetea umbali ambao umetutoa utukufu sifa zikurudie Leo hii ni ibada ya mpendwa tunapoanza ibada hii tunaomba wepo wako kutawala mali hapa Asande ni kwa ajili utasimamia kila usemi na visingiti vyote ambavyo vinaweza chinua hata katika ndimi za wasungumzaji tunanyamasisha katika jina la Yesu wacha ukatawale na uongoze kila kipindi ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini Asante mchungaji uh, Ashas wala ambao wako na program tafadhali tupeane program hizo tupeane program wanapopeana program hiyo nataka niwakumbushe ombolezaji wote kwamba hii program imetengenezwa na familia ikishirikiana pamoja na kanisa na muda ambao wamenipa hapa ni kwamba tutamaliza maziko ya mzee saa saba na dakika 15 and i will stick in that program bana sifiwe i will stick with that program maana familia ndiye ambao wamenitengenezea na ninajua ya kwamba kanisa tulihusika kwa hivyo tutafuata mashariti ya ibada hii. Uh, mimi ndiye ambaye nitakuwa kiongozi wa ibada hii peke yangu. Nikisema mzee wa ukoo ninamaanisha mzee wa ukoo, sijamaanisha wazee wa ukoo. Sijui kama mnanipata vizuri. I am giving the norms, yani sheria ya ibada hii tukikualika unakuja kusungumza ni wewe tu lakini ukiita wengine basi tutakuwa tumefunga kile kipindi na wala ambao 
tumekuwa nao tukiendesha ibada wananifahamu katika hiyo sheria kwa hivyo ninataka matanga ya mzee iwe matanga mazuri matanga yenye iko discipline na tuendeshe ibada hii kwa heshima kwa hivyo wapendwa nataka nishukuru wacha tupate wimbo injili 182 wala ambao wako na program iko katika hiyo program Iji to jau Asante. Nilisema stanza moja chorus. Waimbaji wameongeza. Mzee wa ukoo. Mzee wa ukoo. Kuja tukarabishe kwa boma hili. Mzee wa ukoo. Asante. Kanisa Familia na waombolezaji wote na msalimu kwa jina la Yesu hamjambo hamjambo tena nachukua nafasi hii kumkaribisha hapa zo, wote mjisikie kama mko nyumbani usiwe na wasiwasi lakini usijisikie mwenyewe kama uko wapi nyumbani huko kwa mikono salama familia tunakukaribisha hapa wote 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 mjisikie salama sitasema mengi sana tumesema kwa mikutano ya kila siku hapa na mmesikia sitasema mengi Mungu amebariki asante asante sana mzee ametukarabisha na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ibada ambazo zimekuwa hapa tumekuwa na watu wa kuzungumza kwa hivyo leo ni machache injili 189 injili 189 stanza ya kwanza nikikarabisha ndugu wa marehemu ndugu na dada ya marehemu ndugu zake na dada zake wote wakuja hapa ninapenda ni waone hapa
Asante ndugu na dada ya marehemu na mkumbuke live history itasomwa Kanisa na serikali na wageni wote ambao wametoka sehemu mbalimbali hamjambo hamjambo tumsifu Yesu Kristo milele na milele ni asante vile ninasimama hapa yule mwenda zake ni ndugu yangu mtu asinichukue ni rafiki ni ndugu yangu ambaye tulizaliwa naye sehemu moja tukakuwa naye kwa masomo kwa kanisa na kila kazi ambayo ilikuwa nafanya tulikuwa tunafanya wote nilizunika zaidi kwa roho yangu kumpoteza huyu mwenzangu Livingston Yembali kangahi kuzunika kwangu kwa manena ambaye alikuwa ananisaidia kunijenga kifamilia kutembea na obogeni manya kuranga ndiko nijirutana je kutembeleana tulikuwa tumezoeana kutembeleana na ku kuzungumza yetu Atu kikuja kwa nyumba ama pale tunakaa tunazungumza maneno na hatutachoka saa ingine ukuje kama tumekaa tu hivi useme hao watu pengine ni wajinga lakini kwa yote kwa yote nasema pali ndugu yangu roho yake iko Mungu amfungulie pale pema akae hapo. Tulikuwa tumezungumza mengi tangu tukae hapa kwa mikutano mbalimbali hata kutoka kwa Mokyari na mengine nimesahau lakini machache ila ambao mmesikia Mungu amlinde naye. Kwa jina ni Francis Odanga baadaye. Ndugu ya Livingston Yembali. Asante sante ndugu Kabla sija nena lolote wote ambao wamefika katika boma hili kutufariji na wasalimu katika jina ya Yesu hamjambo hatujambo hamjambo tena Mimi kwa majina naitwa Phineas Avuzika Govedi kutoka Maragoli Mimi huyu ni ndugu yangu mothers wa sisters Mama yangu ndiye alikuwa mdogo na hata yeye ndiye alilea huyu. Kwa hivyo wakati nimesikia kifo yake nilihuzunika sana. Hata sina nguvu. Lakini kile tunahitaji tu ni maombi. Huyu ndugu yangu alikuwa mtu wa msaada mkubwa sana. Hata wakati mama alikufa alifika akanishika mkono akanifariji. Lakini wakati Chemeki alikufa nilikosa nafasi lakini ni nilimtumia rambi rambi nikamwambia takuja kufika na nilikuwa hata sijafika hapa na ndio tena nimesikia ndugu yangu ameondoka niko na uzuni mkubwa ila tu naomba mtuombe katika boma hili na muombe watoto wake wamebaki mahatima hawana baba hawana mama lakini Mungu awasaidie isiyo ni, ni hayo tu wale wamenisikilizako Mungu awabariki Asante tutasimama mahali penye nimesimama senge utasimama Tunatafuta sehemu mzuri ambayo coverage itakuwa mzuri Thank you
umaga na nukohera na tinda tumbawa sikizi sangida wabosi ababu kugwila nguyo hu kuza kuba halala ni Wajendi abana bamze kanga ndi mufu wakana kubaya abana chala bebe bebe abamu abona babozo kufura mfumbega josi kujira mukizi kwa baka kanga kini mbaba kari nimbo wala nangu Abana da kambole moji kokoti kwa baba. Ilikuza nilulu lakini ilikuza numwiki. Nuzi ya hamalika kule kwa mehangu kwa kangai yano. Nuwete gechifiga urega. Nuwete gechikuba kutika la hobe za. Tiki la suhu za. Wama ngana katua ni kazi yada nasa kwa kababu lahi uuse nuwete geji odole kumilingana lilala kumana libokoni kila neko ndebe kumigana mapaka vosi nabali nji nabafani katiko nabali nji ndaka msandi kutumye nzi mirai ya mwa kukola hango hakangai hano na avele mkere ndebe nyinze dhali nobo dedeke Livingston ni mwana wetu imbiri wa Livingston ni mwleri wange ni mwleri wange ni mshauli wange kumienzi jange josi kusinge langu wanakanga hili mkari na wana wewe ya hana anga nyeleke nyele uwele uwele li bondi boza kwa mama glad ya atura ho kanga ya alu mbeleke ya hana anga ni ya mbola nye numbile hanze kuikara Kira ngu ni kinti mzite ni mbole. Kwa hivyo nuzo pika ni hale kwa bandu baza. Angobe na walore hivyo. Mama otakuwa kwa mfupi kidogo. Wewe ndi otapiana mwelekeo. Kwa hivyo ndiyo. Kutula mulikuza li mkere. Muzesi ya anyo wala zinzuhu. Ya ilabiza. Kwa hivyo chikati kati. Ya anango. Nasi nyinga ya nila sirali Umuangu kudukada Gabu kula kuinga Tohono Lakini banda aza Ndamu feba Manga na kini ya mbola Salirani Ni mfebo salirani Na mbola Kuru wakaza nda kubola Kukikara na ye Mnyumba yu kukikara yu Ya singe na nazi ya injima Ni yira na ni yira na ni mfebo Indai kuzuna, ya mbola indai nzuna dalu ngobole na kubola. Nisunde ya, habande nisunda honi ya mbola. Kwanza za inyima yili, hajia yangu ndogo ni mbumi, ya sujui chakubali. Sandi za bana wa Livingston, bakana kubayali. Babu kula jifumu yu kwenye dakitari. Kuza kwa konya Livingston, nabi mkubayili. Bahana first day. Mwene na kukwila na wala Sandi kuti kila mberi ndi Maninga naka nanga Amanya tula hene hara manu rubo tuwe Yanyo rubo tuwe Habana mulikuwa yeye neye Hamuta lemewa kamwe Nyasaye wa amuro mbala mira Nila nana mga nilipi nyingu Kupuko la wuya ngu kukulenda Kanga yunumukali Kuduka kuriatu 
Uganda Zabu. Have you never been in Nancy Dakumians in Jahango? Can I know Lady Mulahi Haran Kale away in the Zach? Kadinzo went away in the left of Angaba. Santana Sanga. Navan and Baba Mokore Midians, Jim Kerum Saku Abokora, Saruhada. We engage a beast for Hakati Yanguja. Can I? Mbemu Kumana Kendo Kabe Hakati Kati. Kigramban, Urahi. Kobe Ababamba, Mubi Buluba Kangai. Namweshimian Abakuzu Kubanene. Neke Bune Shima Yariho, Hakati Akangai. In the Darum Kuzu Kuban was Bakangai. Nanzumuya in Goyakuda. Asante Mama, Dying Gondo Karakashkuru. Nashukuru tuko kwa program Naomba Nasanti ni nasaye Mkana Mary Kulinda Livingstone Kuduka inginga Habe jila Mungu wakurudia na kuongoza Kwa venu mwoyo kwenye ni kwenye saa kumende Mbe nopo tedekeli Kwa nyingi hakati habani Mungu kwa kangahi Wale kabana Niba kilikumba Mungizi kwa samu ya ni masamu Kobe muna bana Mungizi kwa Aganda Solomon kobe muna bana Mungizi kwa Henry Chunguri kobe muna bana Mungizi kwa Kangahi Livingston kobe muna bana Uguta vee na vivuli Mbika bana Naba mulisala na saya bahe Bukambani, no bagadi bukolenda, imigize, hambani imigize kubo imigize muda kule guhari mukang, sande mno, inzinaro kasi ya Gladys, muana wanga Livingstone, or muana wakanga, umkuzuzu kwa na vos, wakanga hina nora chere kivu, sande mno. Asante, sante mama, nashukuru. Uh, three of them were mechukua 28 minutes. Abamavi, wote wasimame, waimbe wimbo moja. Abamavi, wanakegoe wote, ama nitumie yoluga. We can just move one step forward. Sande, 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 Nyinyi ni kanisa Wacha Wamavi basi waimbe Wamavi Kiongozi Tupati wimbo Ucheri zane Mungizi kwa kangashi Mirembe jomsa akura tuli Mirembe bosi Mirembe 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 Namba kwa minasita Ambi Kona Sare Ande kumi tomi ne, wimbo wimbo no bo yanti, wimbo wimbo no bo yanti, ame.
Asante. Asante. Si wamavi wameongea. Yaani kama hauko kujia hapa wamavi wote wameongea. Na kama hauko umeimba basi umeimba ama umenyamaza hiyo ni mbinu ya kulia mzee ambaye ametuaga. Nashukuru Mungu. Washivo. Washivo ni ukoo wa mama mwenda zake mama Gladys. Yes. Hao pia wakuje walie shemeji yao kwa wimbo. Nilijua mama Selika pia ako hapo e ataimba. Au aimbe Sante sana, sana, sante mama, mama na shukuru. Ah, jirani mama Jessica. Jirani mama Jessica. Sante waibaji, tunashukuru, tunashukuru. Wana, 
asifiwe Bwana apewe sifa Waumini wote Bwana apewe sifa Ah nikisimama hapa nitasimama mara pili Kwanza mama marehemu nilipoingia hapa mama alinikaribisha na akaniingiza kwa familia yake kama mama ya, kama mama yangu bwana asifiwe nikaingia na nikaridhika marehemu na mzee huyu walinipokea na moyo mmoja bwana apewe sifa tukakaa kama hao walikuwa wazazi wangu miaka hii yote wakakuja washauri wangu bwana asifiwe miaka yote tangu ni, niingia hapa 20 I mean, 2012 nimekaa hapa miaka hii yote hatujawahi kosana hata nikipatikana kwa makosa mzee angeliniita mkhana kwa nini umefanya hivi na ninamwambia pole guga na nasema alikuwa anapenda neno moja it's all right bwana asifiwe na inaisha hivi wakati mama alikufa niliuzunika sana lakini nikafika mahali nikasema nimebaki na baba yangu kwangu ni hapa tu mama akiwa hai alikuwa siku ya tatu mpaka akuja hapa kwa maembe na pashe sauti kwangu mkhana kuja ninakuja hapa tunakaa tuna, tunaongea inatoka hata uangelinishindikiza usiku nifike kwangu na huyu mzee mzee alirudi kwa mguu ya mama alinipenda sana bwana asifiwe wakati mzee alikufa pole nilikuja kuona mzee tukakaa naye tukaongea akaniwa akani tukaagana nikaenda kwangu wakati mzee alienda nilihuzunika kitu ambayo nitasema tu kwa hawa watoto wenye wamebaki wa mama Gladys na Mguga Kangai mimi nimekaa kama mtoto wenu Hiyo heshima iendelee Bwana apewe sifa ni Asante. hayo tu Mungu awabariki Asante Asante sana Nashukuru Mungu kwa jirani wala ambao wamekuja programu hii ninaendeshwa pamoja na familia we are doing consultation jirani rafiki mpaka tufanye consultation rafiki wa mzee mwenda zake ni Sami Savala aje atoe rambi rambi zake Asante. Thank you. Wewe ni rafiki. Kuomboleza familia hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. 
mimi nikianza kuzungumza mambo ya Livingstone nitanichukua muda mrefu sana Livingstone tulijiana in 1960s tukiwa shule alikuwa anacheza mpira wa kale na mimi nilikuwa kakamega akawa full back kwa, kwa timu yake na nilikuwa namsumbua kidogo kwa sababu nilikuwa mdogo na nilikuwa mbele he used to be called sweeper after shule tukaenda kutafuta kazi akaingia posta na mimi nikaingia community East African community na nikawa posted na kuru wakati alimalida kosi yake akaja na kuru tulikaa kwa nyumba moja room moja for quite a number of years so I have known for that time and he has been very close to my family and you ask any child of his walikuwa ananijua tu kama mjomba the only mjomba they knew at that time so he's been a dear friend and his loss is great to the family and also to my people but all i pray is that munga saidie familia na tuwaombe wakae pamoja na watoto waige mfano ambao tulikuwa nao na familia kwa sababu hata wakati nienda Mombasa walinifuata huko tukawa pamoja nikarudi na Robi tukawa na Robi together so we've been together for a long 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 time until this time apparently you are born the same year mbarikiwe asante I can see the reason why they picked on you as a friend. Nashukuru Mungu. In laws wote upande zote. Shemeji upande zote, upande wa mzee na upande wa mama. Wote tu wakuje hapa. All in laws Ninaona ndugu zake wako hapa na wameoa All in laws I want to organize this team All in laws on both sides. Asante. Thank you. Thank you Waibaji. Manafanya kazi mzuri. In laws I will be two people one from pande wa mama mwingine pande wa baba otherwise we shall sing the song na wawili hao watabaki kusema pole sija amjalipanga nataka manipange nani anaongea kwa wawili Mama Alice, upande wa baba. Asante. Si tuseme tu majina wala ambao hawataongea. Amjambo wote hadi leo. Amjambo tena. Hii kwa majina anaitwa Pole Mwandati. Pole sana kwa familia kupoteza pole pia. Asante. Habiko bosi na balina na watende. Nugu ameshi. Ndaka wacheri za mulito leso mrembe bose. Mrembe. Mrembe ju mwami. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Cheri za kuwe na mbole mwami ya kukulanza. Asante, sante sana. Sande kumita bananga Priscilla Muhonje Rubai. No vere liku mwana wetu. Sara. Asante. Bwana asifiwe. A uh, jina langu ni Sambe Nebat. Baba yangu ndiye shemeji wa mzee. Na kwa sababu ya wakati sitarudi hapa tena. Nasema pole. 
nimetumwa na mheshimiwa Ernest Kagesi bunge wa Vihiga nimetoa rambi rambi zake 1500 na msaada wa 1500 na nitampa treasurer wa kamati ya ndalizi asante asante sana mlembe bosi mlembe mlembe kandi wananga Charles Yambani nanga Kiriki nini boso Gladys Joyce Mary asante amchamboni wote amchambo tena e, mimi kwa makina ni Gladys Simbali e, ningeongea mengi kulingana na kinzi nimeishi na Gladys pamoja na Livingstone lakini kwa sababu ya saa sina wakati lakini Mungu aweke mahali pao asante asante mrembe cha malika mrembe chuvereri mrembe dira lianje ni hele ni makoti mukhana wanga Gladys Mkubika mlisara Livingstone ni mkwasi Matibau na wala ambao wamekuja kutufunga muka na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu amujambo amujambo tena Tijambo. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Jennifer Amukata Amukata alikuwa shemeji yake na mimi ndiyo nimepaki hapo na sema pole kwa wachomba na wote ambao wamempoteza huyu kwa maana alikuwa shemeji yangu mzuri kwa pomo mimi natoka tiriki mparikiwe sana asante barizeni wote Hadi. wote ambao mmekuja kutusaidia na kutufariji mimi kwa majina naitwa Anisa CJ Saidi Livingstone ni shemeji yangu lakini si shemeji yangu alikuwa baba yangu nasema tu pole umesema watoto ni mayatima lakini hata mimi ni mayatima asante ah asante sana ningependa nichukue nafasi hii tuweze kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu bila ametoa mwema Uh, meona vile tumetoka tiriki hata hapa tuko na eh, angus wa baba tuko na wamama wa wazaa mama yetu wako hapa tuko hata na wasefo wote kutoka tiriki na, na maraguri wako hapa na tena marafiki ya Gladys wako hapa Gladys alikuwa dada yangu mkubwa mimi nafuata yeye na tukawa karibu sana tumekuwa karibu tena na semeji na maenda yangu ni kuambia watoto wa Gladys na Livingstone kangai ya kwamba God will take care of you ani asante kwa majina ya Joyce Akifumu na ubwali wetu wa friends na balina na biko abamuti hano huko wanyahoereka umusaza ora kucherita ne Yesu Kristo mirembe 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 ya Livingstone. Sande mno. Injenda kabo ya manyinga manyingi kijira Livingston ya ndela bana bange. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Borandi na saya mbihe harai hehe. Kumita Elizabeth Yembali. Mbarikiwe. Eh. Ubwali bwetu bwa friends. Abirwazi ni babe mna balindi na bana bange na biko bande bose na ba mabi batulia kegoye kuta kutumare na nangu cheli zenu yanzo ngeli zo be mmoyo murembe bose chigira mbole ba cheli za mfana ba kukuza kuri Livingstone mbugore mirembe mba mirembe jumurendi wa hango bwana asifiwe Sandi zana saye kwa kukurenda kutura baba wetu na atura ho kwa nara kumuranga baba aswa inze chigira nda anora na awo msakuru sindaza na awo mwana da mambe heda ndaza na awo msakuru zanyi ngiriza hango habo burai zanyi ngiriza kure o msakuru kangai Wabi buradari ya nyingiri ze hango ha he he Mayabona mame ba nyingiri za burai Makome nana buburai 
Livingstone no muruti wu murai. Livingstone can not have no weed angu or work o ze mavi. Livingstone come on a meram seam. Kalinedo kezisa jabodiko kusambi risatatu. Ama kobe seam. Ateva bibi. Orugaba nava. Tarekaba na umane tuni zaramba. Nanzimbola kwa komega ho. Awala ndi mwa wame nyabana umane toko zinguza. Nanze kekaweha. Asante omulindu. Urwabu cheza mugamba. Asante. Amana alande etla ukendo kedi. Asante. Asante. Kule Livingston numurai wa. Livingston numurai anze wetu. Mba mawe. Yai zora mudu. Yai zora mimkize kweto du. Yabu kanyamba. Akorenda. Kwa kovela na ruatu liho. Mbola wana wapole. Na murendi hango burai. Asante murendi. Abali hae murenda wakana wakore. Babali abali nda anji. Muku ingiri zeano burai. Manzi za ambo hera maduma. Kandambi garamu. Eguri nasta no. Nanga filis. Ndaza hano na mtare kanzi umwere mba. Livingston ya za mbanze. Nanda honge na kuoza hano. Nenzi za kusuma na nenzi za kubarora. Kusiga rendio. Mamsa ala wana vaya wabosi. Baba wala mkala na visukuru. Kane musaru likuza. Mugize mga kanga hi. Lihere. Ero Livingston. Ozioro mama roba. Uda takoronda mba. Fene risara. Alice Chungori. Uyo ni mulindi. Marafiki. Ningependa kuchukua na fasi hii kumusalamia njini watu. Amchambo. Adijambo. Amchambo tena. Adijambo. Ni meambia tu ni pehena salamu na kwa makina zangu na hitu wa meri amaisa amalemba. Asante. Very disciplined. Ainge kuwa matanga ndunge mpigia makofi. Basa kuwa. Basa kuwa walioa pamoja na nduku libiston. Karibuni. Sayamri. Ombolezi wote. Na msalimu kwa kina labuwa na mjambo. Mjambo tena. Ati jambo. Mimi. Mwaseko wa Livingston. Na hiko yule ambayo ilete mimi kuwa pamoja na Livingston. Mimi ni mzaifu. Wajira ni kura anga na wasegua. Mkeduma iki. Zamo rome ni yaba yange kia. Kimberi gaini jimuona nae. Joyce. Sante, sante mama Joyce. Bila yeye singe jua Livingston. Yeye ndi amenifanya ni kajua Livingston na tunakapo moja miaka mingi. 
Sunday nitakuwa kwa ufupi. Nafikiria ile inafanya kazi ni roho ya Bwana. Hakika mimi nilipata huyu kijana kwa nyumba ya Gladys na Livingston Kangai. Hawa ndio walinipeleka tena na gari yao kwa huyu kijana. Na kutoka siku hiyo wanaita nanga tu eh bo, um, brother 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 na tumekuwa pamoja sana hata sasa ile dadangu alienda tukaona hiyo kabri kao kubwa tumekuwa tukiingia hapa yeye hey, asikii vizuri lakini namwambia acha tuende tunakuja pole pole tunakaa na sasa hapa hata akasema e, mngekuwa karibu ningekuwa nakuja nikamwambia hii nyumba kama ingekuwa na miguu kama ya kaimosi tungepeleka uwe jirani huko tumekaa maisha mzuri na semeji wangu akiwa wasegwa yake tukiwa na Gladys very close tumekuwa Nairobi tumekuwa Rift Valley hata hapa sisi na kaba ndalo kabla ufika Kitale tumekuwa pamoja sana na kuongezea ya kwamba tulikuwa shule pamoja na Gladys na huyu naye rafiki yangu huyu kijana huyu akawa tena tabakali na semeji ambaye amelala na lot na tuseme tu Mungu atuwezeshe tuache rafiki yetu aende alale vizuri watoto ya Gladys mimi ndio nafata Gladys mimi ndio mkubwa nyumbani ango wenyu wako huko lakini karibuni nyumbani tukiwa na jambo lolote nyumbani mjue Gladys awe au ayuko eh, baba ayuko nyinyi badu familia ya Amalemba mshiba mtichi mulukhoba tuko na mmeona nyanya mama khasoa nimeona guga kutoka hata ushimuli bado tuko pamoja na tunampenda tunamwombea na ni asante kwa jina ni Joyce akifumba asante asante sana mama Joyce asante baba nashukuru nashukuru wanapoenda kukaa hivyo tuko na senge na hocha wa marehemu senge na hocha ya marehemu kama hayuko na shukuru hayuko na shukuru thank you Asante sana hoja na senge hawako kwa sababu wamekuja leti na waliipa watasalamia Bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena kwa majina ni Alice Ayuma mwenye amelala ni anko yangu barikiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana asifiwe sana. Sisi tuna huzuni. Aliyelala ni mjomba. Anayefuata mama kwa mgongo. Kwa majina ni Beatrice Kamonya mbarikiwe. Asante sana na shukuru. Hocha na senge wamezungumza. Ah, uh, we are very special people in this congregation. Mahali ambapo watoto wa mare, wa marehemu walioa walioleka those are very special team and i will recognize them in a special way bwana asifiwe kuna kijana wetu wickliff imbali his family i know haijafika lakini kifika tumewatambua Phyllis Iminza kuna jamii ya Bukina we want to recognize them na jua wako miongoni mwetu familia ya Stanley they all watch his family i know you are around we want to recognize you. 
tunashukuru Mungu familia ya ndugu Agri the Baril families i know you are around we want to recognize you shali the washikunga this ones came in a very special way yesterday i saw them i want also to recognize them our kitinda linda people from bushia all the way i know they are around wakikuja hao nitafurahi tuwapatie wimbo basa kwa waje basa kwa hao ambao nimetaja some family hizo they are there Yes they come nataka ni wape fursa basa kwa wote waje asante they come in a special way i know the son in laws son in laws mtakuja baadaye nataka basa kwa ali penye nimesimama hapa ndio ninawahitaji nipande luga 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 ya kikirik sasa zingine nasubua nilizungumza luga ya kikirik ikasumbua wengine lakini hao watoto wao wameoleka hapa hawa uh, watoto vijana wameoa kwao baba najua shemeji muko baba nataka mtu mmoja wazazi tu wazazi wazazi wasonge mbele kidogo wazazi wa watoto hao wasonge mbele mzee ulisema mtoto ameoleka hapa ameoa hapa basi hawa watazungumza sikutoa historia historia itasomwa baba kwa Kristo wote na wasalimu na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo amjambo amjambo tena poleni kwa familia Mungu anajua ni kwa sababu gani aliamua kuchukua mzee wakati huu na tuache yake yatendeke kwa mapenzi yake e, mimi ni Margaret ikiwa na akilisha wazazi wa Shikunga e, hawangefika lakini sisi ni, wascha, ni watoto wa brothers and sisters wa Vincent kiwa tumechukua shali kutoka hapa asanteni waombolezaji wote majirani na utawala hamjambo mimi kutoka sehemu ya Bugina tuwakilishi watu ya Bugina Bugina ni kwetu lakini kwangu ni kimenini mimi kwa majina yetu ya Mlongazo mzee huyu nilimjua kitambo 1970s tulikuwa nafanya naye kazi Koru post office akiweka mashini ya exchange na mimi nikiweka hii mambo ya waya hii na kapoteana naye kwa muda kidogo lakini baadaye ikawa ni kuja kunua shamba huko nikamjua suru mzee Evans mzee Isaac Alovaga tena kan introduce mi kwa kamera ya pili. Ndio tunakumbusha na committee kutoa majuana. Huyo mzee nilifanya naye kazi. Kwa hiyo post office ilikuwa kajumba kadogo tu, kadogo sana. Akiweka ile mashini yake ya exchange. Mimi nikiweka hii ya waya. 
ile mtu wa kufanya kazi na yeye mzee mimi niliona vya anaperform yeye mzee alikuwa engineer pana mchezo hakuwa ya mchezo na ndikuwa bado bana noti kijana tu mimi bahati nikaja nikaunua shamba pande hii kijana yangu na ndugu yangu ingawa maenda lakini mimi ndio nabaki baba akaoa katika hii familia tukafuta na mzee mzee akaniambia kulikuwa na wewe na kupe Mungu alikuwa na mipango yake kumwambia asante Mungu alijua urafiki endelee tumeendelea na mzee kuishi kazi zake nyingi ni nikimfanyia hii mzee alikuwa na maeneo mengi amewacha legacy nyuma ya kukumbuka family yangu najua nimekuja na watu wengi sana lakini beba tu mkono mahali huko wasimame tu wasimame, wasimame wawe mahali huko beba tu mkono sa big family is a big family i know i cannot call them here Yes mama thank you. mkono. Thank you. Thank you. Tumewaona. Basi asanteni. Nashukuru. Mungu ambariki nayo. Nashukuru. Uh, kwa kanisa familia ya Kangahi na waombelezaji wote. Mimi nazungumza kwa niaba ya familia ya Oluoch. Mahali <coughs> kijana wa mzee Stanley Kangahi ameoa half of mzee <coughs> tulipokuwa tunatoka nyumbani kakamega kwetu ni kakamega kabras ndio tunaishi mzee na mama walisema tuwalete pole zao sana wa yaliyofanyika <coughs> ni familia ambazo zimejulikana zimejuana kwa muda mrefu kiasi uh, tumewahi tembelea hii boma kama hizi nyumba zingine hazijajengwa kwa hii nyumba ya mzee na hata mzee na mama wamekuja nyumbani sio mara moja mara mbili mara, mara nyingi kwa hivyo <coughs> wanajuana ni kusema tu pole hakuna mengi ambao tunaweza sema na tumefika hapa kwa Fariji na mpokee pole ya watu wa Kabras santeni sana Mzee na mama <coughs> ni wagonjwa hawakuweza kufika. Mzee amegonjeka sana sana. Hata Stanley alipotoka Nairobi aliposikia hii maneno amepita nyumbani aone kidogo uh, ndio akafika huku sababu iko njiani kama unatoka Kisumu. Asanteni sana. Asante, asante. Asante mkwasi. Tunashukuru. Oh nyote hatujambo oh sisi ni familia kutoka Busia kijana wetu anaoa akili boma na tunasema pole kwa hiyo msiba umepata eh tumekuja wengi wengine wako huko nyuma wengine tuko hapa na ha tunasema tu pole sana kwa hayo yote mimi kwa majina anaitwa Vincent Siata. Poleni. Asante sana. Others we can wave to the congregation as we go and sit. Hawa ni dada zake. Wapendo hawa. Tunawashukuru wapendo hawa. Tuwaimbie wimbo wanapoenda kukaa. Tuwaimbie wimbo. Sante Sante Wachuku Wachuku
pia mimi ni mchuku ndio sababu umeona nimesimama hapa pia mimi ni mchuku sijui namba ngapi wataniambia Asante pia mimi ni mchukuu watanifanyia introduction. Kuna mmoja ambaye anataka kufanya. Yes, yes. Well, una introduce na unasema wewe ni mtoto wa nani? Uh, kwa majina naitwa Alan Mbali. Mimi ni mtoto wa Wycliffe na Mebol Mbali. Asante. Kwa majina ni Laura Kabuki, mimi ni mtoto wa Juliet. Kwa majina ni Julia Kangai, mimi ni mtoto wa Stanley na Amelochi. Kwa majina ni Marion Mbali, mimi ni mtoto wa Wycliffe Mbali na Mebol Mbali. Joseph Kai Santo Felicimiza. I'm Nelly Kadure, wife to Mark Kevin Komi. I'm Vanessa Kendi, daughter to Vincent and Charlie Kanahi. I'm Lakisha Majale, daughter to Linda and Washington Majale. I'm Kimbali Kalumba, daughter to Agre and Christine. Edwin Mbali. Jason Mbali Santu Phyllis Jamie Mbali Santu Adrian Christine I'm Harriet Kangu daughter to Phyllis Simiza I'm Lois Che daughter to Phyllis I'm Taraji Kalumba daughter to Linda and Washington Leon Kaihi Phyllis Simiza Mareva John, son to Luan. Orio Mwakwe, daughter to Linda and Washington. Uh, call me Kevin, uh, son of the late uh, Harriet Kaangu. Sante sana. Sante, sijaona mwenye anaongea kimaragoli. Tuwaimbie wimbo wanapo enda kuka. Sante. Sante. 
Nashukuru watoto wanayemuita mwenda zake baba the cousins of agri the cousins of phyllis those are the people i need wote wote tuje hapa tunajipanga Asante na shukuru. Tonane milele, tonane bandari ni kule. Tunashukuru wanawimbo wanataka kuimba. Mmoja wa kike, mmoja wa kiume. Baada ya wimbo. Nitaimba Injili Injili 56 Mbele nina endelea nina Asante maneno yangu ya jana yanabaki hivyo tulisema tutoe ushuhuda na hao walitoa ushuhuda wote wawili tu ndio hawakutoa wawili hao wa kike mmoja wa kiume mmoja wengine tuende tukae
familia na waombolezaji wote na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo hamjambo hamjambo tena ningependa kusema mawili matatu lakini kabla sijasema dada yangu Editha kwa wapi kuja kuja uongee kwa niaba ya dada zetu inamaanisha mmoja wenu atakaa chini eh, kuja uongee kwa Ukita niaba huyo mmoja wenu alafu tukiwa hapa tumetembea pamoja na MCA wa pande ya kwetu lakini angependa kuondoka atenda kusalimie tu alafu aende okay asante kanisa pole najua nimeingilia ndani ya program eh, lakini ni sema bwana yesu asifiwe amen familia ya ndugu zangu dada zangu poleni ifo ni kichungu kuza ni luru lakini tuko hapa kuomba pamoja e, ngawaje tukumbuke zaburi 90 na tuambia miaka yetu hapa duniani ni, ni miaka ya sabini ikiongezeka ni bahati ya Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hivyo usandize kumhiga janasaya ya kuwa na baba wetu na kale agende burai wandu boturike goje murembe mwose abandu bazi koko na marika ka baba jambo bwana yesu asifiwe kwa sababu ya heshima ya kanisa na familia sitakuwa mwingi wa maneno ni kuambia tu tuko pamoja ndakola zizi mgorowa nduchano sa kumi jana tumelala hapa wale mmetoka nyumbani asubuhi tunashukuru Mungu mmetembea vizuri lakini chigira kandi benu mkutano kuanziza amsa nane ya ngodira mwanze njeri zile za hamanzi you know lakini kikubwa tuko pamoja wana vitu kumwa kujoina inde self help group yete wa bisandu mwidinye na sara kokona simwamya mgasi mos ijaika victor bulemi nikiwa mca lugaka wa mluma nilisema pale watu wangu watakuwa mtatembea nao wakati wa shida na wakati tuko pia na raha si bwana awabariki wote asante karibu sister bwana sifiwe kanisa na wale wote ambao wamekuja kutusaidia msiba huu ingewasalimu katika jina la Yesu bwana Yesu asifiwe sisi ni uzuni tu ni uzuni tele huyu ndiye baba ambaye alikuwa amebaki tulikuwa tunamkimbilia lakini tunajua kwa kwamba tuko na Yesu Kristo ambaye amebaki kwa hivyo ningeomba tu mtuweke kwa maombi ni machungu my brothers my sisters karibu kwa uwanja that field is very painful but You, you will, it will force you to tolerate it karibuni pole asante sana dada yangu bacheri zikande mrembe mrembe mose nachukua fursa hii kuomboleza pamoja na kila mmoja ambaye amefika hapa pamoja na wale ambao hawajafika the let engineer Livingstone Imbali Kangai was a patriot. Indeed, he was a patriot and the patriot has rested. He was an idol of unity and a pillar of prosperity. Not only at the family level but at the community level. We are very 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 saddened by his death. Jambo la pili Kangai na Cheye walizaa watoto tano Tumeweka wanne kwa mchanga tangu 2014 tulipozika anti Fones 2017 tukazika mzee Masambu 2018 tukazika mzee Chunguli 20 21 tumezika mama hapa 2022 tumezika mzee Solomon Aganda and now we are burying mzee Livingstone it is very painful tunahitaji maombi yenu kwa dhati lakini hatulii kama wasipojua mahali hao wameenda 
bali tujiombe sisi wenyewe watoto wetu wote pamoja na wale wa jukuu we need to forge together in unity kwa sababu pasipo umoja hakuna maendeleo hawa wote walio tuacha wametuacha na msingi fulani tuweze kujenga katika huo msingi tuendelee mbele tunaomba tu ya kwamba wakati tunaachana kila mmoja atuombee nasi tutaendelea kujiombea ninaposimama hapa sitarudi tena mmeona wachache kutoka kegoe ama maragoli lakini wengi walikuwa na hamu ya kufika lakini hawakuwezeshwa lakini kwa sababu nilipewa fursa ya kuwa kiongozi wao ninaleta rambirambi za watu wote wa maragoli tafadhali muzipokee na tuwarudishie tuseme ya kwamba mulipokea mmezipokea kabla ni keti hao wawili wa wevu tu kwa hewa sababu ya muda ndugu yangu ambaye pia ni pasta Newton alikuwa karibu na hii familia kindly just wave in the air asante sana kwa niaba ya familia kungekuwa muda ningepea agri aongee lakini najua kwa upande wa kanisa atapewa nafasi kuongea sababu yeye amebeba kanisa la maragoli hapa just stand and wave tafadhali Asante sana Agri. Majina yangu mimi ninaitwa Solomon Chunguli nikiwa naibu wa chief kata ndogo ya Kegoe kata ya Wamluma division ya Vihiga sub county ya Vihiga county ya Vihiga. Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki nyote. Mimi ni mtoto wa mzee Henry Chunguli. Kitinda mimba wa kina mzee. Mama ni yule ambaye ameongea hapa. Nasaya bagasi zimwose. Nyasaya bagasi ze mosi. Na ngura miri zingavi. Nyasaya bagasi ze mosi. Bas, za ndio. Sande mna. Sande ulitakana kuwa mhubiri. Si ndio? Ana kipawa cha uhubiri ndani. Nashukuru Mungu, Clark. Ah, uh, wetu wa Viga ambaye amebeba Viga yote shabakali ya sehemu najua viongozi wa hapa wa kanisa watakupatia nyafazi hiyo wapendwa ni ruhusu kanisa tusimame tuwalete watoto wa marehemu as we give watoto wa marehemu kwa heshima yao nitamjua 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 nikisia magharibu kwake nitamjua nitamjua kwa na kama ulioa hapa you also part of the children Amo. Yes, son in laws wako hapa. Nikimwona Yesu uso kwa uso. Na unasimama huko karibu na mwenzako tunaone kama eh mnafanana ama hapana. Eh simama karibu na mwenzako. Yes. Unajua Agri anajipanga. <laughs> Asante. Asante mzee tuachi nafasi watoto wanataka kuongea Mzee huyu anatoa rambirambi zake anatoa rambirambi zake E asante I don't know who is to lead Phyllis leaders Oh start Yes
Amjambo Onezi Amjambo Tena Mbona masimama huzuni Amjambo Onezi Amjambo Tena Yangu amani kwa shukuru ni nyote kufika hapa kumkamba kwa muda wa mkuu wa mawao jamii pamoja kifo cha mzee tunasema ni asante Hawa watoto ni wengi ama si wengi? Kwa kunani hivi ya watu ni ambao wamefika hapa ambao najua kuna rafiki ambao hawaelewi lugha ya Kiswahili au lugha ya Kibantu. Mtani huyu sio mgeni kwa lugha ya Kiingereza. Na nitarekelea kwa Kiswahili ijapo kwamba mko muelewa. Uh We thank once again for coming here to today. Whereas we are saying that today we come to bury the late Livingstone in Bali Kangai. We mourn not his death today, but I'll ask all of you to celebrate his death, for indeed he has lived his life to the fullest. The man who lies there that we want to lie today had many children. But some, I have to say, exceptional special children of Mr. Livingstone Kangai and Mama Gladys, uh, Embassy Newton and Brian, I'll ask them to speak. Thank you. Kani Salama Rafiki, Jami, na wambolezaji uwache ntaka kuwasalimu katika jina leo swa mjambo. Amjambo te. Uh, kwanza niseme nina furaha kwamba mmekuja kuwa pamoja nasi mahali hapa siku ya leo kusherekea maisha ya baba He has been so special to me that's why I'm one of the very special sons in this place. Special in a sense that he took me when I was eight years old and I've lived with him all through to this very moment. And so all of these who are here, we call each other's brothers and sisters. And because he had a very special place in his heart for me, I also have preserved a very special place in my heart for him. He took me to school. Today, I fly across the nations of the world because of what he did. It's a testimony that most of you might not know, but he holds a very special place in my heart. I was supposed to be flying yesterday night back to Canada, but because that had that very special place in his heart, I've had to cancel my reservations to a later date so that I'm here to lay him to rest. And my prayers are that you'll continue to keep us in prayers, that we'll continue to hold that very special place that they held in the church and the community at large. And may the good Lord bless us all. Asante ni sana kwa kuwa pamoja nasi. Kwa majina ni Newton Ambasi Mbali. Barikiwe. Um, Mbalezaji wote, familia, uh, mabibi, mabwana, viongozi, wote alio hapo, kanisa la mungu, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Um, 
yangu ni machache sana. Uh, manake nafikiri ndugu yangu hapa ambasi amesema mambo mengi sana ambayo also I can relate. Uh, engineer the Livingstone Valley Kangahi has been a great pillar in my life. Um, there's a lot of, I hold a lot of memories uh, being in this place and uh, living here uh, and also in Nairobi. Uh, him and uh, the late Gladys Kangahi, they have been great pillars in my life. They've uh, helped me. They've been with me through very many difficult times. And uh, also have a testimony saying that also, as uh, Newton here said, right now we are able to stand by ourselves, do great business, and it's all thanks to the advice, the mentorship that they have given us. And also, in all things, he always taught me that, you know, life is for the living, and you have to ensure you seize your opportunities, you make them count, and one thing which he uh, made me become is being a very resourceful man because he was like that. Mzee Livingston, I'm sure all of, all of us over here can relate to that. So today we lay to rest a great icon, a man who I love, I respect, and I have the honor of being called a son. And uh, to the family, I know that he has lived a ripe old life. Like you can see, he's never been hospitalized. He was a very jovial person, wicked sense of humor. And that took him up to this day, which we thank God that we finally are laying him to rest. May God rest his soul in peace. Asante sana wote kwa kuja. Namungu awenanya. Thank you. Those two are very special to Mzee and Mama. Whenever they would call a meeting, Yajami anasema so we we've never treated them as cousins or friends these are part of the kangai family uh, i want to start with the lower order coming up and i'll introduce my dad's very jovial little girl linda praise god praise god again I don't have many words I can say for for Daddy who's laying, who's laid to rest, but um, he lived his life to the fullest, and he was always jovial and and happy. And this is not a time to be sad, but a time to be happy because we know he's in a good place. Uh, I was the baby of this house. I would like to introduce. The other baby. <laughs> but he's not really the baby. I'm the baby here, but where I went, uh, I'm not the baby. I'm the, at the other end of this room. <laughs> uh, Washington Majale. Give him a moment to say something. Abarizenyu. Komajina ni Washington Majale. Kutoka Busia. Um because I may not get an opportunity to do this again. We have some colleagues of ours and neighbors who escorted us. Wherever they are, if they can just stand and wave. Thank you very much. Karibuni Nyumbani. She says she was the baby <laughs> and there's no other. You'll always be the baby. <laughs> Coming up in the rank. Quayote aliotenda sita cum si funemayake imetosha sita cha cum si fu. Sita cha kum si fu mo kozi mo kozi Sita cha kum si fu ali em kombozi 
That is my testimony today. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, kwa majina naitwa Shali Mtubi. Mimi ndio second last born wa baba pale aliyelala na nashukuru Mungu sana kwa maisha yake na tunaomba ya kwamba mtaendelea kutuweka kwa maombi. Ninavosimama hapa niko na mzee wangu ama ni mume ama ni second last born mwingine uh, ningempa nafasi wacha azungumze kidogo wana kanisa na familia na kila mtu ambaye yuko hapo leo hamjamboni hamjambo tena naitwa Vincent Mutubi na langu ni kusema kwamba baba pamoja na mama walinikaribisha kwa ile boma miaka 22 ambazo zimepita na huo ni wakati ambapo walinipatia msichana wao awe bibi yangu na ndio bibi yangu na nashukuru Mungu haya yote kwa sababu mawaida yao yametusaidia wakati mwingi up to this particular moment mzee alikuwa anatuongelesha vizuri kutuelekeza vile hali ya maisha inakana ikue with some very good wisdom so langu ni kusema ya kwamba Mungu amweke roho yake mahali pema asanteni bado bado on that note kindly allow me to acknowledge that i have colleagues and friends who have followed me here mnaweza muka inua mikono tu muonekane thank you thank you very much for standing with us mungu awabariki asante i didn't know that my sister could still sing very well <laughs> the one and only <laughs> Kanisa uh, marafiki na viongozi mkutano huu wa leo wasalimu katika jina la Yesu hamjamboni hamjambo tena mimi hapa ningependa kwa shukuru kwa kukuja hapa ili mtufunge kamba manake mpoteza baba mzazi tuliyempenda sana kwa majina naitwa Egri Mbwanga Kangai nikia kijana ya mzee hapo nami siko peke yangu ningeomba mwalike mwenzangu ajitete hamjambo wote Jina yangu ni Christine Kangai. Mimi ni mke wa Agri na nawashukuru sana kwa kuweza kufika leo kuomboleza nasi kama familia. Uh, nitasema machache kuhusu dad because dad alikuwa na maneno mingi unaweza sema juu yake lakini kwa sababu ya masaa nitasema machache tu. Uh, dad was very special to me and to the rest of the family tumefunzwa maneno mengi na dad na ingawa ameenda tutaweza kuendeleza mafunzo yake e, ni hayo tu nitasema kwa sasa asanteni uh, na kabla pia sijisahau uh, na, uh, tuko na colleagues uh, wangu na wa madam ambaye wamepata fursa kuja hapa kutusaidia na kuandamana na sisi naomba musimame na muinue mkono tafadhali mahali mpo colleagues of agri and christine wave to the crowd asante kwa hayo machache naomba
mzidi kutuombea asante kwa kawaida ingekuwa mimi ndo nafuata lakini kwa kuwa mimi ndo kusema <laughs> nitaruka alafu ni mwalike mwenye kusema zaidi kwanza <laughs> waliokalia madhibao ya baba ndugu jamii na marafiki bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe hebu niweke mkono wa angani nione salamu za baba asante sana kabla sijanena Mwanya mabora msakuru beho. <laughs> Asante. Watakaweze tukusalimia mkutano wa baba. Mjambo nyote. Uh, mimi kwa majina naitwa Kenneth Nyapera. Uh, ni jojo mzee back in 1992. Kiwa hapa Postal Exchange Kitale. Akiwa anafanya na kijana kijana mkiti jumba. Was got engineers me was a survey I just come from Nairobi I've been po- I've been po- I've been I've been posted here for some of things so tukajuana tukakuwa marafiki nilikuwa sijajua hata madam nitaishi na yeye hata nilikuwa simjui nilikuwa sijakutana na yeye sasa kwa hiyo rafiki kaenda na mwanae baadaye na mmonga kapanga ningekutana na yeye tukaanza kuishi tangu mwaka wa 1997 amekufa na mimi naomba tu mtuweke kwa maombi. Aenda kwa muziki mahali ameenda kwa Mungu vizuri. Until we meet again. Asante. Thank you so much. In his death I have come to realize that uh, dad had so many names that I didn't know. On his eulogy I have seen the name Patriarch and i think it is a name that is given to very special people who have lived above 70 wale ambao wako above 70 muko ni waone may god bless you and may he abundantly give you the health now that you are in bonus i have known my dad he had very many and dear name, names we would call him gugs we would call him buda we would call him mzae and he was very jovial to all those names my father loved passionately akipenda kitu alikuwa amependa kwa roho moja tukikuwa baba alikuwa tukinunua zile tv mpya baba bada kwa na ile box tv yake baada yako na ile kinanda yake we grew up tukapata ile kinanda na any time mom alitaka kutupa nje dad would say no leave my things alone and that is just a replica of his passion love for the things he loved dad was a very good carpenter vitanda ambavyo tulitumia mwanzo mwanzo baba mwenyewe alikuwa ana anazitengeneza And there is a table in that kitchen where Mukere used to sit. That table was made by dad very many years ago. He loved his handwork and that was the epitomic of his social cultural values. In his death I've just discovered that my ba- father also did a short stint at Bukura Agriculture Institute na nikasema ndipo saa yeye ni mkulima yeye ni mfugaji baba alipenda kufuga hao wanyama na tukikuja hapa christmas tukisema tunataka angalau kambuzi ama kondo baba alikuwa mgumu sana kwa ajili alipenda hao wanyama wake but we loved our dad the way he was he was a man of dedication alikuwa akichukua jambo afanye that was our dad project akichukua dad alifanya with a lot of passion mkitizama hapa mbele tuko na majengo haya ya ndugu zangu na ingine iko chini for my elder brother 
baba mwenyewe alichukua jukumu ya kuwa project manager alikuwa akiamka kutoka huko kwake anakuja kuangalia hiyo miradi vile inaendelea and just the other day there was a testimony that dad has been on the building committees for our churches he would supervise the work to completion his unwavering support baba alipenda kutusupport sana na nyumba ambaye tunaishi kitale bidi baba alisema kuja ukate miti hapa you go and do your roofing that is how our father loved each one of us my parents had very sweet endearments right to their old age walikuwa wanaitana tu neno darling sijui kwa wale wako hapa mzee wako bado anakuita darling mke wako bado anakuita darling hata wakigombana walikuwa nasikia darling ah ah utakuwa na ndio dave and that is how they lived dad was a wonderful cook aenda apike huko nje na mama kwa kile kiti chake amekaa hapo na huyu alete maji huyu akarange and that is how sweet they lived their life and in fact we were reminiscing maybe that is why dad could not stay longer because upande wake mmoja ulikuwa umeenda so it was well that dad rested um a special tribute to all the grandchildren we always had to make sure holidays zote wajukuu wanakuja wajukuu wanakuja just to keep dad company but i want to give a very special mention to a family that would always stay here and they would do the nightingale duties there is my nephew Johnny are you there just wave your hand Johnny thank you so much Jason thank you so much Lois thank you so much Harriet thank you so much Gracie eh uh, that's my grandchild alikuwa anaenda kuambia auntie Mary shosho Mary umesikia guga anaitana watoto hao wamefanya kazi nzuri sana for the last two months when dad was really ailing and going down the hill these children were a blessing and may you be blessed abundantly with all the other children i just wind up by saying dad's favorite lines in whose hands are we safe he would always ask us that question and dependingly it will either be in mama mary's hands it will either be in stano's hands Egri's hands and so on. I want to also give a very special thank you to Senge Mary. Who without her maybe dad angelikuwa safari ali alienda kitambo but because of Auntie Mary's presence dad aliweza kusongeza hayo masiku yake. Nataka tukusema asante sana Mama Mary. Uh, nikiweza kumalizia ninaomba tu ni muone kanisa langu la friends kutoka kitale liko hapa lisimame tu liweze kupunga mkono kanisa langu asante wakiongezwa na pastor arnold thank you so much na sijui kama kuna marafiki na majirani wamenifuata wasiseme siku watambua kama wako tafadhali simama tu ukaweze kupunga mkono wako asante sana asante sana kukaambira asanteni sorry for taking a long time but i just wanted to eulogize my dad thank you thank you uh, she took more than the time i told her to take but i've allowed her <laughs> uh, uh, my next person is, is is what they call special with his permission he has asked me to let him speak before i close because mimi ndo kusema leo i'll introduce my eldest brother here he will have some words to say hamjambo nyote majina naitwa weekly simbali 
sasa zingine kuna kuwa na advantage ukiwa wa kwanza sababu kazi inarahisishwa hivyo mimi nita summary tu ikisema baba we loved you buddha rest in peace thank you poleni na mama ke wangu nilikuwa na msahau usinipige fine mebol bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena baba alikuwa mjeshi baba alitupenda alinipanga nimesikia nimestuka baba yetu alikuwa atakupiga lakini utajua amekupiga alikuwa anakupiga style nyingine ukikaa unashindwa mlikuwa mnacheza ama alikuwa anakupiga hata yeye ndio mbaba yule nimeona alikuwa anaogopa chakula na baba ndio huo watu wa kwanza kwa meza ukimpelekea chakula anakuuliza tangu nianze kukula ulikuwa umezaliwa sasa unashindwa hiyo swali nitajibu na kuna swali uliwahi uliza guga akakosa kukujibu saa yote mpaka ukubali amekushinda guga hata alikuwa amenipea jina unajua yeye alikuwa anaitwa buda sasa akajaribu kuninikinem nemu lakini ameenda haraka kabla ijakuwa alikuwa ameniita shosh si shosho shosh oh goga ubarikiwe rest in peace goga amebo imbali everybody has a tribute to say has a good word to say about living stone in bali if i was to say what i need to say about engineer in bali it would be a long day here indeed somebody once told me that there are very few words in english that would describe my father before the death of muse the last few months had been very difficult months for the family and i have to thank the entire family for shuttling sparing their time between nairobi and kitale every other weekend each and every one of them right from the youngest to the eldest my brother Cliff who has been around and has always been at the back on call when something ever happened here he would be available and uh, we thank the entire family i don't say thank you because we are happy i'm saying thank you because as children not only was it an obligation upon you to take care of muse but you took it upon yourself to do it for him for you loved him my name is Astanley Kangahi. I am right in the middle of all these who have spoken. And I stand next to me with my wife. She will introduce herself. God is good. And all the time. My name is Anne Oloch Kangahi. I want to say thank you to everyone for coming. Your prayers have been of great have given us great strength because we know you've prayed for us. Even when it's been difficult for us to pray, I know your prayers have been heard. Thank you so much. Dad was still is just that my dad. People called him Googs, people called him Buddha. He was daddy to me. And that's how he goes down. That's 
there lies my daddy. Go in peace, dad. We'll meet again. Thank you. I had, uh, before I finish, I had uh, a good number of friends who had traveled all the way to Nairobi to be with us in this function. Exceptionally, I have a very good friend I call her Shosho. Uh, her name is Regina Nyokabi. So Regina Nyokabi and the friends who've come to escort me and Anna, please stand up where you are and wave. Even those who are being shy, please stand up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I had promised the pastor that we will hand over this microphone to the church at exactly 11.30. We still have 10 minutes, but I don't want to use all that so that in turn the church will be able to do and give us the assurance of going with the program. We say thank you to you once again, and we say, may dad rest in peace, and let's not mourn him and cry, celebrate and love, we rejoice his life with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Stanley. Special dedication as they go and sit. I will use the next 10 minutes that you have left to me. I will utilize that. vizuri. Napenda niweze kuwaita hawa wapendo wawili mukuzi na chairman steering committee. Waje hapa wote tufanye kazi ambaye imezalia. They have given me 5 minutes to finish. Chairman steering committee. Wambolezaji, familia, majirani, jamii na marafiki na wasalimu katika jina la yesu hamjambo, hamjambo tena. Kabla sijasnena lolote kwa ajili ya steering committee, ninaomba dakika moja tu. Tasimama tumali penye uko, you will speak on behalf of them. Okay. Urafiki wa mzee mbali wa kangahi ambaye pia ni ndugu yangu kwa uko haujaanza leo haujaanza jana ni kitu kimekuwa na damu na kimetoka mbali 
but kuna occasion moja huniguza ilikuwa tarehe nne mwezi wa pili 1992 saa ni saa tatu na nusu usiku tulikuwa tunapika kitoweo na mama ambacho kilikuwa ni ndizi na alikuwa ametoka tu Nairobi hii asubuhi kumuuguza mme wake ambaye ni baba kutoka saa tisa mpaka saa tatu na nusu usiku ndizi ilikuwa haijaiva na tukaona gari linaingia hiyo jioni mzee alisema amepokea simu kutoka Nairobi na mama anatakiwa haraka aende kusikiliza maneno ya ile simu tulikuwa mimi mama na msichana wetu mkubwa tulipofika kwa ofisi ya mzee Kitale tukajaribu kupiga by the time simu inaingia mama aliambiwa mgeze yake ametoka fiu ya wasego unaweza kuelewa jinsi ambavyo ilikuwa kunyamazisha mke wa mtu na msichana wake mkubwa kwa ofisi ya serikali na ni usiku saa sita it was really tough but i thank mzee kwa kusimama na sisi wakati wa wote ametuunganisha kama jamii wakati wa wote tumehitaji msaada wake amekuwa akijitokeza tutakosa huduma yake kwa wamabe ambao tulikuja sehemu hii tulipopokea kama jamii ya mzee Ojago kifo cha mzee Kangahi kilikuwa cha uchungu na tunashindwa ni nani ambaye atavaa hivyo viatu tena kwa jamii ya mzee nataka niwape moyo kwamba kwa wakati mmoja mzee ameguza maisha ya kila mmoja ambaye amejitokeza kuja kusimama na nyinyi wacha tukumbuke wakati ule mmoja ambao ulikuwa yeye na wewe wewe na yeye na maneno mazuri yale alikwambia iwe kanisani iwe jirani iwe ndugu iwe jamii tujenge kwa hayo kwa sababu amekuwa kiunganishi ah uh, sikutarajia wakati nilipata ripoti kwamba nitakuwa mwanakamati ilikuwa challenge mkubwa na niliweza kuvuta hewa pumzi kwa uzito kwa sababu wakati tulipitia kwa budget maswali yalikuja mengi kama jinsi ilivyokuwa yeye kwa matanga ya wengine lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu amekuwa mwaminifu nataka kushukuru kanisa nataka kushukuru Mungu nataka kushukuru marafiki nataka kushukuru jamii nataka kushukuru watoto wa mzee unaweza kuwekwa kwa kamati baada ukikosa ushirikiano wa familia ukosa ushirikiano wa kanisa na pia Mungu akoze kuwaongoza mara nyingine mnakosa kitu ya kusenda lakini nashukuru mazishi ya mzee yamekuwa mepesi tulikuwa tunaona tarehe na moja kama ni miezi miwili kumbe ilikuwa siku moja tu mjipe moyo najua mlinjimima mlijinyima kuna kitu kile mngefanyia hizo fedha ambayo mlisaidia nayo jamii hii mimi husema ukitenda mazuri asubuhi jioni kutana na confirmation ninaomba wale wote ambao walikuza kazi ya mzee kwa njia moja ama nyingine kwa kukuja kwako kwa maombi yako kwa ushauri wako ninajua Mungu si yatima Mungu atatukumbuka mkitoka hapa mpate baraka na shukuru mimi si kuwa mwenye peke yangu kwa kamati sante karani tulikuwa na watu wengine you have taken my time please ntadam kabidi chairman chairman ya salami yetu asante, asante. mungu atobariki sisi wote kwa majina anaitwa gidali wa ujago asante pastor kwa kunipa nafasi uh, asante sana eh, karani wangu na pastor wa kanisa na shukuru mungu kwa sababu kazi ilikuwa ngumu lakini tumeimaliza na inaelekea kuishaisha kwa njia mzuri kwa jina naitwa David Wakoli mimi ni che eh, mwenyekiti 
na vile vile ningetaka tena pia kwa sababu sitaruti uh, kuwatangazia wote ya kwamba chakula kiko na kikombe cha chai kiko kwa hivyo usiondoke na njaa eh, familia tu kila kitu iko sawa sawa asante hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa lengo kubwa mtu waambie iko chakula mguzi mguzi wana itu injiri kichito Samonya na chorus Lakini yote tutashukuru kwa maana ni siku ya mzee. Mimi nilijua hawa wawili kama watati wangu from 1975. They raised me up. Walikuza watoto wangu. They also raised my children. I ended back. Kasi nilipata kwa mikono yao. Walinisomesha. Walinilinda. Sio vile extended family sasa zingine umefunga mlango umepika nyama alafu kuna bwasi asiye mtoto anaangalia hapo hapana i was a baby sister wakati wote mama Gladys akikuwa hapa amekuja conference anasema what is my baby sister and i say yeah i am sibona pesa pesa she was a woman of substance kweka mani was a man of substance na furahia number 2 or number one. Hizo miaka hizo zingine tulikuwa tunaishi tu, tulikuwa tunaishi tu. But last year part one is when I landed here. Nilipo leta my sister yangu kama maikufa, niliendelea kuhishi hapa. Na shemechi yangu. Akiwa kama papa, siwa shemechi. Sasa, akiwa mkonjo, nikaona, kutakakana yeye, atasikia vizuri. Lakini I was just a caretaker. Watoto wa mama Gladys na Livingstone Kangai. Mimi nilikuwa tu kufinya remote. Phyllis, where are you? Stanley, where are you? Naliweza kusikia these children work together. They do the things together. Wanafanya vitu zilio mzuri. Nalikuwa wanasikia. Matibabu yote nini yote ni watoto mimi si nimesema i was a caretaker nilikuwa caretaker mbaya <laughs> kwa hivyo nashukuru kwa watoto muendelee kujiungana hivyo mkuwe kitu kimoja maneno ya mwisho my brother in law alikuwa akiendelea kusema in whose hands am i safe in whose hands are you safe ina muuliza anasema Mary's hands. Sangine na muulisa. In whose hands are you safe? In Jesus' name. Na mi nasema, Amen. Phyllis ya meongea ya hiyo. Na nashukuru wa chuku. Walikuwa wazuri sana. Walipa kucha hapa ni wapangia tuti. Nika mambia, mimi ni kayateka. But yu tuti ulibi. Muna ka hapa kuanzia saa tatu, saa tano, saa sita, saa sapa, saa nane, saa tisa. Muna kucha kunita, mina chukua usakani. And that is what I did to my brother-in-law. Kama baba yangu. 
<coughs> na shukuru kanisa ya friends kabuyefe sikentu kweka men kwa mhombi yenyu mmeweza kutembelea mzee na naendelea kushukuru lakini kitu kimoja mulikuja na naomba radhi kama nilimkatasa msione mzee you know when a patient is in pain si lazima wamuone hata mkikuja kenyata wanasemanga si saa ya kuona wagonjwa tujadairisha mgonjwa kwa hivyo naomba msa <laughs> eh na naendelea kumshukuru muendelee kutuweka katika maombi tukiwa na hawa watoto hapa pamoja na wachuku pamoja na kanisa na sisi wote tubarikiwe asante Asante sana mama na shukuru mukuzi live history kwa chukuu live history Life is ya marehemu jambo mveni mbeho amangana ah sana sana uh, my name is uh, Kevin Mark uh, the life history of our grandfather shot first into three phases with my fellow uh, sisters here in eology Ali Chal the late engineer Livingston Imbali King was born on 2nd July 1942 in Zivhi village Kegoye sub location Wamluma location in Vihiga county to the late Ethan Kangahi and the late Nora Che of Kigoye Maragoli he was the brother to the late Samuel Masambu and the late Elizabeth Eyuma late Fons Munarizi and the late Solomon Egada late Henry Chunguli and Alice Chunguli Gladys Alucasia and the late Festus Alucasia my grandfather was brother-in-law to Sami and Joyce Ekifuma the late Samson Shivaji Senge Mary Amalemba aka Maria Anita and Ali Saidi Zuki Les Festas Luvanda and the late Phoebe Luvanda the late Philip Amugada and Jennifer Amugada the late Edward Masengo Helen and Mark Libwama the late Beatrice Amalemba Kennedy Amalemba Julius Kwashi Juliet Amalemba and the late Evelyn Safari Mr and Mrs Analo Mziambo among others clan buda guga mze imbali belong to the vamavi vanondi clan and his mother was from vamurunga clan second session my grandfather he was initiated to manhood in the year 1952 by the late kinamgori he belonged to the surura age group education he attended kigoye primary school from 1951 and sat for the common entrance examination in brackets cee in 1955 he later joined kigoye primary intermediate school where he sat for his kenya african primary examination in 1958 he joined kigoye school and sat for the kenya junior secondary examination and passed definitely with the flying cars in 1960 my grandfather 
joined Chavakali High School and did the Cambridge examination in 1963, which automatically he passed. Work. He joined Bagadi East African Post and Telecommunications in 1964 and successfully graduated as an engineer. He was then employed at Kenya Post and Telecommunications, where he worked in various stations between 1965 and 1993. He retired in 1993 in a senior management position. Family life. My goods met the love of his life, the late uh, Shosh Gladys Halumba Kangahi in 1966 and made official their vows in 1968. They were blessed with nine wonderful children, Wycliffe and Mabel Imbali, the late Juliet Afandi and the late Kasai Msioki, the late Harriet Kangu, Phyllis Iminza and Kennedy Analo, late Fineke Cheye, Stanley and Ann Oluoch Kangahi, Egri and Christine Biri Mbwanga, Shali and Vincent Mtubi, Linda and Washington Majale, very special sons Newton Ambassi and Brian Kassain. Grandchildren, the late Livingstone and the late Gladys Kangai were blessed with 30 grandchildren. Marion Ayuma and Luca Omuko, Ella Nimbali, Edwin Sidimi, Nicholas Masambu, Laura Kauki, Patricia Mchio, late Samuel, Mark and Nelly Kome, Joseph Odindo, Leon Kai, Harriet Kalumba, Jason Nimbali, Lois Cheye, Julia Kalumba, Claudia Cheye, Jordan Nimbali, Christian Adenya, Gracia Akola, Maria, Jamie Imbali, Kimberly Kalumba, myself, Vanessa Hendi, Sydney Anzilimi, Lakisha Awinja, Taraji Kalumba, Orio Mwakwe, and eight great grandchildren. Baptism, he was dedicated to the church altar by Pastor Daniel Akero in July 1942 at Friends Church Kegoye. He was an associate member in 1978 and full member in 1987 at Friends Center of Fafa Maringo. Church life. He served in various capacities in the church and was a great source of hope. He was the chairman of the development committee in Kabuyefwe Friends Church, treasurer monthly meeting main and a counselor in the church. He has been a pillar not only in Kabuyefwe monthly meeting but also in the yearly meeting. He was the designer at Kambimiwa Technical Site. He chaired building committees and was also part of the technical advisory teams for Langata Friends Church, Mitoto Friends Church, and Sikhindu Friends Church. He was mom's pride and support for over 30 years in church service. Social and economic activities. Upon his retirement, he actively and passionately pursued mixed farming. Sickness. The late Mzee Mbali was generally in good, robust health. He had never been ho hospitalized for any ailment. However, in the later years, he developed acute arthritis, which severely deformed his spinal backbone, giving him a stoop posture and challenge with his bladder. For a period of more than five years, his health condition was managed by Dr. Stephen Wasilwa. As he aged, he underwent more health challenges. A special mention to Dr. Manudu and Dr. Onyango, who did their best to manage our dad's health condition. <coughs> On 4th May 2022, he was readmitted at Crystal Hospital. He responded well to medication, but angelically slipped away to be with the Lord on the 7th May 2022 at 4.20 a.m. St. J. Maria, we will have never done this without you. You selflessly took upon yourself to care for our dad when our mom was departed. Furthermore, you, stooped, you stood by us to take care of goods, a task very few people will undertake, and especially during the days he ailed gravely. In whose hands are we safe? Words Guga used to ask. Our brother Wycliffe and Mabel, thank you for being there. It has not been an easy journey that you have worked with that. Mukangula, thank you for your unwavering support that you gave. Pastor Benitha, be blessed for your spiritual guidance. It exalted us as you walk through this journey with our ailing dad. May our Heavenly Father repay you in a special and mighty way. Can all of us say Amen? Tunashukuru 
kwa la history ya mzee kangai ni ruzu ni muite pastor general superintendent anapokuja hivyo waimbaji tupatie wimbo tunataka kuenda kwa kipindi kingine waimbaji na munga sipiwe hebu tupungenie hewani mali tulipo asante e, ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kusema pole kwa familia kwa kuweza kupotesa uh, papa mpendwa wengi wamesungumza juu ya baba wetu mengi imesemwa ni wewe na mimi tujiulize ama kwa yale watu wamesema wapendo wamesema ndaka nikuulize wewe pamoja na mimi ya kwamba katika masungumuso ya wapendwa tumechufungsa nini kutokana na historia ya huyu mzee wakati tunapokuwa kwa mashishi kuna mambo ambayo tunajifungsa lakini furaha yangu ni moja ya kwamba huyu mzee ametuaka akiwa mkristo. Bwana Mungu asifiwe sana. Sitaki nisungumuze sana majina yangu ni Pastor Amos Muneria. Mimi ndiyo mhubiri mguu wa kanisa la marafiki EAYN North. Nataka tusimama wote. Tumeka anaona kama tumechoka nataka tulete wale ambayo watatulisha neno la Mwenyezi Mungu tutaimba wimbo namba 182 injili injito cha utakasonita moya Yesu bwana ana u uweso kuni pawo kofu okijito okijito cha utakaso na zame ko osha umo namse fukwa ana kwa Aiyo ni mepata u utakaso Iombe pia na ona damu inangupo Ime hari ipu uopu uli Yodo lumu Kijit Okijito cha utakaso Nizame kuhusha umo Na msifu kwa anakwa Hiyo ni mepata utakaso Na ono kakute mbea kuru 
namo yon namo yon sa pika isa kumpende sa mungu o kichito o kichito cha Kecinto tau takasoni same ku osau mo nasi puwa na ku iyo ni me pata u takasoni. Atas kecinto pasta standi berapa? A, familia, ndugu na marafiki kwa marehemu mpendwa Livingstone ni wasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Just look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor God is good. Tangazo. A, tafadhali tumefika nafasi muhimu sana. Uende nyumbani na neno ambalo ndio uzima wa milele. Kwa hivyo nafasi ya chakula tumesimamisha meanwhile tupande neno kwanza mtu asumbue kupita hiyo keti asante mmesikia na wale ambao wako wamesimama utatulia mahali ulipo angelipenda kutoa rambirambi zangu kirasmi kwa familia hii nikisema Mwenyezi Mungu na akawapi nguvu za kustahimili msiba kama na huu a jina langu ni mchungaji Stanley Amriodo wa mitoto friends na nimesimama hapa akufanya kazi moja kuleta mnenaji ambaye atatuelekeza katika kipindi hiki. Nitasoma maandiko matakatifu. Kutoka katika kitabu cha Warumi 14 mstari wa saba hadi wa tisa. Those ones who are loitering around kindly are settle down and get ready to receive from none other than the Lord. Wale ambao wako pale jamani tulia. Warumi 14 saba hadi tisa. Kwa sababu hakuna mtu miongoni mwetu aishie kwa nafsi yake. Wala hakuna afae kwa nafsi yake. Kwa maana kama tukiishi twaishi tu, kwa Bwana au kama tukifa twafa kwa Bwana basi kama tukiishi au kama tukifa tu mali ya Bwana maana Kristo alikufa akawa hai tena kwa sababu hii awamiliki waliokufa na walio hai pia can somebody say amen Mnenaji wetu ani mtumishi John Wachie a former general a superintendent Simama mahali ulipo chakutumaini sina Somebody sing somewhere Asina wema wakutosha Ocha kutumaini sina Ila damu yake Bwana Asina Nyosha mkono mahali umekaa jamani we want to invite the Lord Dambi zangu kuzio O kwa ke Yesu nasimama Die mwamba ni salama Die mwamba 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo amesimama mbele yako mtumishi ambaye umemwandaa kutumika kama chombo baba tunamkabidhi mikoni mwako chochote kitakachotoka kinywani mwake kiwe kinatoka katika kiti chako cha enzi aina yeyote ya vurugu yoyote ya shetani kazi yoyote ya kuharibu huduma yako tunakataa kila kazi ya shetani tukitangaza roho yote ya kuangaisha wanadamu katika jina la Yesu na akapate kushindwa shuka baba shuka na ukanene pamoja na watu wako anza pamoja na mtumishi na kamuelekeze hadi mwisho na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Familia kanisa waombolezaji wote kwa jumla na wasalimu kwa jina la Yesu hamujambo. Hamujambo tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ebu to just let us just wait. Tuenweko mikono tukimzivu Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Kwanza ningependa kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa uzima ambao amenipa na hata kunipa nafasi kama hii. Ningependa kushukuru Mission Commission ambaye ilionelea ni vyema siku ya leo nikaweze kuja kunena katika masiji ya mzee Livingstone Kangai ni mzee ambaye mimi najua nimewahi kutembea hapa nikifanya revival wakiwa kabla ya mama class hajaenda wamewahi kunikarabisha hapa nikilala hapa nikitoka nikitembea hapa nikifanya kazi ya evangelist kulingana na ilo somo ambayo tumesoma Biblia inasema ya kwamba hakuna miongoni mwetu aishie kwa nafasi yake na hakuna miongoni mwetu afaye kwa nafasi yake kama tunaishi tunaishi kwa Bwana na kama tunakufa tunakufa kwa Bwana Unajua wale ambao ni mali ya Bwana ni ya kina nani Praise the Lord Kwa sababu Biblia inasema kama unaishi wewe ni mali ya Bwana Na wakati utakapokufa ukipumzika utakuwa ungali mali ya Bwana sasa ningependa ukaweze kukeukia mwenzako ambao mumekaa nayo muulize ili swali ya kwamba wewe ni mali ya nani? Uliza mwenzako wewe ni mali ya nani? Wewe ni mali ya maana. Whose property are you? Wewe ni mali ya nani? Unajua ningependa kuzungumza juu ya mali ya Bwana. Tunajua ya kwamba si zote tulikuwa mali ya Bwana. Kutoka kwa Adamu na Hawa. Mungu alipomuumba Adamu na Hawa aliumpa hawa watu wakiwa kamili kabisa. Katika akili zao, katika roho zao, na katika miili yao walikuwa wakamilifu. Hawakuwa na dhambi yoyote. Hata na hawa walikuwa mali ya Mungu. Lakini walipofika mahali wakakozea. Wakamshuku Mungu. Wakamuazi Mungu ndiposa wakapoteza kuwa mali ya Bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Kwa sababu mtu alikuwa hana magonjwa. Mtu haikuwa na mambo ya maumivu na hata vifo na dhambi, hakujua dhambi ni nini. Mpaka wakati ambapo walipomwasi Mungu, hapo ndipo Mungu aliwawacha. Mungu alipowaacha wakaanza kuishi maisha ya kipeke bile wanapenda. Maisha ya dhambi. Hapo ndipo dhambi ikaingia duniani. Na dhambi ilipoingia duniani ikafanya watu wote wakawa wenye dhambi. Kwa sababu wote wametenda dhambi na wamepungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu. Hatuke kuwa na njia ingine ambayo tungeweza kuepukana na kifo hicho. Lakini vile Mungu alikuwa anaangalia wanadamu wanateseka na wanakufa bila msaada wowote. Ndiposa akamtoa mwana wake wa pekee Yesu Kristo akaja hapa duniani ili kujaribu kurejesha uziano wake ambao ulikuwa wako tangu awali. Yesu Kristo alikuja hapa duniani akitembea akihubiri habari njema ya ufalme wa Mungu. Mae mwisho watu wakamuonea wifu wakamweka msalabani mwana wa Mungu haokuwa na dhambi. Akakufa msalabani ili kuzuti akaweze kutukomboa sisi tutoke katika mikononi mwa shetani badala ya kuwa mali ya shetani ili tukaweze kumrudia tuwe mali ya Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na ndiposa neno likasema ya kwamba katika Yohana mtakatifu mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 12 Biblia inasema ya kwamba alikuja kwa wale walio wake. Na wale walio wake hawakumpokea. Lakini baadhi ya wale waliompokea aliwapa uwezo wa kufanyika watoto wa Mungu ndio wale walimieno china lake. Amen. Sasa hapa Yesu Kristo alikuja ili atutoe katika mikononi mwa ibilisi ambaye alikuwa ametutawala ili akaweze kutufanya sisi turejee tuwe watoto wa Mungu. Amen. Lazima wewe unapokaa katika imatanga ujiulize wewe ni mtoto ya Mungu au wewe ni mtoto ya shetani yule ambaye ni mtoto wa shetani ni yule ambaye amekatalia katika dhambi yule ambaye hataki kuokoka ndio yule mtu ambaye amekatalia hataki kutoka kwa shetani lakini kumbuka Yesu alikufa ili akutoke kwa shetani uche kwake uf- mwana wa Mungu. Haleluya. Nilipokucha wakati huu nilikuta watoto ya marehemu wakiongea neno limekuja in whose hands are you safe? Amen. That is the question. In whose hand are you safe? In which in whose hand? Me I say in God's hand. Amen. In Christ's hand. Unapokuwa katika mikononi mwa Kristo wewe utakuwa huko safe. Unapokubali injili na kutubu dhambi zako na kumpokea Kristo kama Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yake wewe unafanyika kuwa mtoto ya Mungu. Na unapokufanyika kuwa mtoto wa Mungu ndipo sasa hilo neno linasema ya kwamba hata ukikufa wewe ni mali ya Mungu utakapoendelea kuishi wewe ni mali ya Mungu kwa sababu ulimkupali Yesu Kristo ukatubu dhambi zako ukampokea na ukafanyika kuwa mtoto ya Mungu wewe sasa umekuwa mali ya Mungu amen je wewe uchiulize wewe ni mtoto ya Mungu tunajua hili poma ni la marehemu Livingstone pamoja na marehemu Gladys wamewachia watoto yao. Amen. Hawa ni watoto wa marehemu hao na hao watoto ndio wako na haki na hao watoto ndio wako na title T ya ili shamba liko mikononi mwao kwa sababu ni watoto wa marehemu. Amen. 
hata kule mbinguni wale ambao wamemkataa Kristo wale ambao hawajamkubali Kristo katika maisha yao hao watu hawana haki yoyote katika urithi ya mbinguni amen jambo la pili ni akina nani ambao wataweza kuwa mali ya Mungu katika kitabu cha Saburi unaweza kuandika hatuna nafasi ya kusoma hii vitabu lakini unaweza kuandika unapoenda kule nyumbani unaweza kuchukua biblia yako uanze kusoma wale ambao ni mali ya Mungu Saburi mia moja mstari wa 12 Biblia inasema ya kwamba kama vile mashariki ilivyo mbali na masha, mangaripi ndivyo ametutenga katika dhambi zetu. Ini kumaanisha nini? Kama vile mashariki ilivyo mbali na mangaripi ndivyo Mungu ametenga dhambi zetu. Ini kusema ya kwamba wale ambao ni mali ya Mungu ni wale ambao wamesamehewa dhambi zao. Wale ambao walikuwa wanatenda dhambi wakafika mahali waliposikia injili ya Kristo wakafanya uamuzi katika maisha yao wakatubu dhambi zao na wasamehewa damu ya Yesu Kristo ikawasafisha na kuwatakaza katika dhambi zao wale ambao wamesamehewa dhambi zao ndio wale tu ambao wako na haki ya kutai urithi ya mbinguni hao peke yao ndio wako na haki ya kuitwa watoto ya Mungu. Jambo la tatu ni akina nani ambao wako na haki ya kurithi hiyo ufalme wa mbinguni? Yaani kuwa mali ya Mungu ni akina nani ambao wanaweza kuwa na haki hiyo wawe mali ya Mungu na warithi ufalme wa mbinguni? Ni wale ambao wamemkubali Yesu Kristo na kufanyika kuwa viumbe vipya Unaposoma kitabu cha Wakorinto wa, wa pili sura ya tano mstari wa saba Biblia inasema ya kwamba mtu akiwa ndani mwa Yesu Kristo amekuwa kiumbe kipya tazama ya kale yamepita na yamekuwa mapya Amen Wale watu ambao wanamkubali Yesu Kristo wakatubu dhambi zao wakaungama na kuziacha hao ndio watu ambao wako na haki kufanyi kurithi ufalme wa mbinguni hao ndio watu wako na haki kuwa mali ya Mungu kwa sababu walitubu dhambi zao wakasamehewa na waliposamehewa wakafanyikwa kuwa viumbe vipya Unajua kuna watu wangali wamepotelea katika mambo ya kale. Mambo ya kale inawafuata dhambi ya zambababu, saba ukoo, za mila adhalika ingali inawafuata. Na hii dhambi inazuia hawa watu hawezi kusaliwa upya na kufanyika watoto ya Mungu. Na ndipo tuko mahali hapa siku ya leo. Kupitia katika mazishi ya huyu mzee tukaweze kujiuliza katika maisha yetu ya kwamba vile tuko hapa sisi ni viumbe vipya au tungali viumbe vya kale wale watu wa kale ni wale watu ambao haumkubali Yesu Kristo wale watu wa kale ambao wangali mienendo yao na njia zao na matendo yao haijabadilika lakini kupitia siku ya leo naomba ya kwamba wacha roho wa Mungu akaweze kunena katika moyo wako akushawishi ili ukaweze kukubali Yesu Kristo huyu ili ufanyike kuwa kiumbe kipya kwa sababu unapookoka saa hii na unapomkubali Yesu Kristo saa hii anakusamea dhambi zako anatoa jina lako katika mambo ya kale anaandika jina lako katika orodha mpya na unakuwa kiumbe kipya na wakati unapokuwa kiumbe kipya sasa wewe umefanyika kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Na kwa vile wewe ni mwana wa Mungu, sasa uko na haki ya kutai urithi ya mbinguni. Unapoendelea kuishi hapa duniani, wewe ni mtoto ya Mungu. Na hata wakati ambapo utaacha hii dunia, ungali mtoto wa Mungu.
Kwa sababu Biblia inasema Yesu Kristo alikufa akafufuka na ye anatawala waliokufa na wale walio hai. Praise the Lord. Jambo la ine wale ambao wana haki ya kutai urithi ya mbinguni ni wale ambao wako na uziri kama mzuri na huyu Yesu Kristo wale ambao wako na uziano mzuri na Kristo hao ndio watu wako na haki ya kudai ufalme wa mbinguni unaposoma barua ya kwanza ya Yohana Mlango wa kwanza mstari wa tatu Barua ya kwanza ya Yohana mlango wa kwanza mstari wa tatu Biblia inasema Ni huyu ni Yohana ambaye alikuwa na Yesu Kristo Anasema ya kwamba yale ambaye tuliyaona na macho yetu yale ambaye tuliyasikia na masikio yetu yale ambaye tuliyapapaza na mikono yetu tunawahubiria ninyi ili nanyi mupate kushirikiana nasi na ushirika wetu huu uko pamoja na Mungu Baba na mwana wake Yesu Kristo. Amen. Wewe unapokaa hapa duniani, unapohudhuria haya matanga, uziano wako na Yesu Kristo iko na mna gani? Yesu Kristo alikuja ili tuwe na ushirikiano mzuri na yeye. Na ushirikiano hii inapatikana kwa wale tu ambao watamkubali Yesu Kristo siku ya leo ambao watakufanyika viumbe siku ya leo kutoka hapo watakuwa na uziano mzuri na Yesu huenda pengine uziano wako na Mungu imeharibika kulingana na matendo yako si mema mbele ya Mungu kulingana na njia zako hazimpendezi Mungu kulingana na tabia yako na mienendo yako haikubaliki mbele ya Mungu uziano wako umekatizwa kwa ajili ya dhambi siku ya leo wacha roho Mungu akunenee ukaweze kubadilika ili ukamkubali Yesu Kristo urejeshe uziano ambao ulifunjika. Uziendelee kukaa katika ushirikiano uliofunjika wa kumkataa Yesu. Unajua dhambi ambayo itafanya watu waende potoni ni dhambi ya kumkataa Yesu. Yesu amekucha na wanakatalia katika mambo yao. Yesu alikufa na wanaendelea kutenda dhambi. Siku ya leo wacha Roho Mtakatifu anene nawe akaweze kukubadilisha na ufanyike kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Amen. Jambo la tano ambalo ni la mwisho. Ni watu gani ambao wako na haki ya kutai ufalme wa mbinguni na kutai katika makao hayo? Ni wale ambao majina yao yameandikwa katika kitabu cha Zima wale ambao majina yao yameandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima yani kitabu cha mbinguni unatembea hapa duniani lakini jina lako limeandikwa huko ni wale ambao majina yao yameandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima ndipo Yesu Kristo aliwaambia wanafunzi wake unaposoma Luka Luka mlango wa kumi mstari wa ishirini wanafunzi walienda kuhubiri injili Yesu aliwatuma waende wakahubiri injili. Na walipoenda kuhubiri injili wakarudi kwa sababu aliwapa uwezo ya kwamba enendeni enendeni mkahubiri injili. Na akawapa mamlaka na uwezo wakatoa mapepo, wakonjo wakapona, biwete wakatembea, biziwi wakasikia, hata bubu wakaongea. Amen. Alafu waliporudi kwa furaha kwa Yesu wakamwambia o oh, bwana Yesu hata mapepo yalikuwa yanaenda toroka ya inaenda wagonjwa tumeponya wakafurahi sana lakini Yesu akasema ya kwamba msifurahi kwa sababu mapepo inawati msifurahi kwa sababu mmeponya wagonjwa lakini furaheni kwa sababu jina lako limeandikwa katika vitabu vya cha mbinguni amen wale ambao majina yao yameandikwa katika kitabu cha mbinguni ndio wale ambao wako na haki kutai hiyo urithi wale ambao majina yao hayaonekani huko hawataona amen bwana yesu asifiwe unajua kuna shida hapa duniani kuna vitu ambavyo vinazuia watu wazikubali kristo yesu 
kitu ambacho tunaita kuna dhambi ambayo inaandama watu kuna vitu mbalimbali ambavyo vinasuia watu unaposoma katika kitabu cha wakalatia mlango wa tano mstari wa 19 hadi mstari wa 21 Inato, inataja vitu ambavyo vitafanya watu wakose kuingia katika ufalme wa mbinguni inasema matendo ya mwili ni dhahiri ndio haya usharati uchafu ufisadi ibada ya sanamu wivu hasira vitina na the list ni ndefu sana akasema watu wanaotenda mambo ya jinsi hii hawataona ufalme wa mbinguni amen Unajua kwa wakati huu watu wangali katika miungu ya kwao. Watu wangali katika mila ya kwao. Watu wangali katika utamatuni ya kwao. Hivyo vitu vinazuia Kristo aweze kuingia katika maisha yao wasaliwe upya. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wametacha mambo ya uchawi. Hii heri ya sekendu tuko na wachawi kweli? Hiyo ya tuko na wachawi. Wachawi wako. Tuko na waganga. Tuko na watu wanaosumbua watu. Na huwa mnafanyaje? Eh? Waachia Mungu. <laughs> Biblia inasema hata mchawi mzimwache aishi. Kuna watu ambao wanasumbua watu. Kuna watu ambao wanatesa watu. Hata unapoangalia maisha ya mtu inaharibika, si kwa achili alipangwa iharibike hivyo, lakini ni kwa achili ya mtu fulani anamu alimuendea kwa waganga. Alimchukua akamupeleka kwa wachawi. Ningependa kutangaza katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba kama kuna mtu anayetumia vitu kama hivyo na amekucha mahali hapa kusikia injili ya Bwana hiyo vitu vyake kutoka leo vinaenda kukufa kutoka leo vinaenda kufanya nini vinaenda kukufa katika jina la nani kwa sababu tunamhubiri Kristo aliye hai Tunatangaza injili yenye uzima. Na hata kama wewe ndio unatumia vitu kama hivyo kutoka siku ya leo hicho kitu chako ambacho umeweka. Kuna watu wanatafuta watu vitu wanaenda kuwaweka. Wanapelekea manyoka inalalia. Wanapelekea msekope analalia wanapelekea hata mamba analalia wamechukua hiyo vitu wamepeleka katika mashimo ya manyoka wamepeleka katika mashimo ya chura wamepeleka katika mashimo hata kuna wengine wanachukua mtu paka wanampeleka katika kaburi mashimo ya kaburi walisika mtu na anaweka hapo na wamefanya mtu magonjwa wanaomba haiendi mtu anatafuta kazi hapati Mtu alisoma anaonekana kama hakusoma. Mtu anatafuta kazi hawezi kupata kwa sababu kuna nguvu zingine ambazo zimekalia. Na siku ya leo ningependa tuombe ili tufunje hizo nguvu zote za kiza. Amen. Ni nani wanakubali tuombe tufunje nguvu za kiza ambazo zina Especially wakati huu wakati wa siasa Bwana Yesu asifiwe Wakati wa siasa hii kuna watu wengi ambao badala ya kuomba Mungu awasaidie ili kama alipenda aende huyu mtu anatumia nguvu zingine Kama wewe ni mtu ambaye mara unaenda kwa waganga mara unakucha kanisani uompewe na kuambia i'm very sorry 
Kama unaenda kwa waganga enda kwa waganga. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama we muganga siku hizo utaweza ukuta waganga wameanza kutajirika sana. Kwa sababu watu wanakimbia kwa waganga ili kuzuti amupe rizi, amupe madawa ambaye atatumikia ili akaweze kufaulu. Hiyo kitu chote naenda kuharibu katika jina la nani? In the name of Jesus. Sisi hatuwezi kuchanganya Ukristo na uganga. Unajua maji na mafuta hayendi pamoja. Kama unatumia vitu kama hivyo usitarajie mema kutoka kwa Bwana. Sisi tunataka tuokoke, tumpokee Kristo na tuingie katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Kuna watu ambao wamefunga wengine na vitu vingine ambavyo vibichafu takataka sana. Wananyanyasa wengine. Wamefunga manyoka. Wamefunga mambo ya uchawi wanatembea na vitu. Siku ya lewe wale ambao tunataka tuombe nao mnaweza kusimama ili tuharibu hiyo vitu. Kwa sababu inaangaisha watu, vinasumbua watu wanakosa amani. Vinasumbua watu wanakosa usalama. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanasaredi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama wewe ungependa tuombe pamoja ili tukaweze kuvunja hizi nguvu na miandamo. Wenda pengine ya lahana ambaye inakufuata. Kutoka katika ukoo yenu, kutoka katika kabila zenu. Kwa sababu mahali hapa hatuhubiri mambo ya udini. Hauhubiri mambo ya ukanisa tunamhubiri nani? Kristo Yesu. Kwa sababu hata huko mbinguni hawatauliza wewe ulikuwa kwa dini gani. Kule mbinguni watauliza kama wewe umesafishwa na damu ya Yesu Kristo na umefanyika kuwa mtoto wa Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tungependa tuombe. Kama unapenda kusimama mtumpa mmoja tuombe unaweza kusimama. Shetani anaangaisha watu na mapepo, mapepo inasumbua watu. Mapepo inanyanyasa watu. Watu wengine wamechaye wengine. Watu wengine wanasumbulia kwa ajili ya mtu mchawi. Watu wanasumbulia kwa sababu watu ambao wameroki wengine wamewazuia ili wasipenye katika maisha. Ili wasiokoke, ili wasione mkono wa Bwana. Siku ya leo we want to ashame the devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shikalima sai ekesi nyama E kanyara ho kisa woni e no ho burulisa e no ho burulisa e no ho burulisa e kanyara ho kisa woni e no ho burulisa e masai ka yesu e kanyara ho kisa Ubone wange wosi peyi e no hola visa mioyo mioyo no hola visa mioyo e no hola visa mioyo Ubone wange wosi peyi e no hola visa mioyo e yeso ne she anwa e she la imono E shasera li kali muno E vya nwa vya Vande Vya nwa vya Vande E vya nwa vya Vande E vya Li kali muno E mwya nwa vya E mwonyi mwla E ndolanga mwseku E kwa ho kenga ho musala E kare wone Wange e kare wone Wange e kare wone Wange e wa ho kenga ho musala E kare wone E nda so vera ebe E rwa mare hwe yama Enasi kamera obwone 
and as I may for Wango, and as I may for Wango, and as I may for Wango. Now they come at Owoni, and as I may for Wango. Basi, watch at Wamini at Tombe, Yosham Konoa Combele Abuana to Napomba Pamoja. Sema Buana Yesu. Na chambele yako Natupu dhambi zangu Ambazo nilitenda Ambaye na niandama Katika maisha yangu Ambaye menizuia Siwezi kuendelea Kwa achili ya muovu shetani Kwa achili ya damu ya uko Kwa achili ya damu ya jamii Ambaye na nifuatilia Ambaye na nisumbua katika maisha Ninakitubu siku ya leo Kupitia jina la Yesu Yote yalikuisha msalabane Yote yalikuisha msalabane Asandi buwana Yesu Kwa kunisamea dhambi zangu Ninajua ya kwamba Utafuta jina langu Katika wenye dhambi Na kuandika jina langu Katika kitabu cha uzima Wakati napoendelea kuishi Mimi ni mali yako sasa Hata wakati nilepo kufa Mimi ni ngari mali yako Kwa sababu ni mekukarabisha Katika maisha yangu Asandi buwana Yesu Asandi kwa kunisamea Nekemea shetani Ambaya nastahili kula umiwa Ambaya menifinya Na kuniletea magonjwa Na kuniletea mapepo Yanayo niangaisha na kunisumbua Ninayakemea sasa Katika jina la Yesu Ibade kutoka Ibade kutoka Ibade kutoka Ibade kutoka Ibade kutoka Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Tuamina tuombe Baba wetu liye mbinguni Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nina kushukuru na kukuenua kwa wakati huu. Ninajua ya kwamba neno lako linapotoka katika kinywa chako halitaweza kukuruti kamwe bure mpaka litimize mapenzi yako hapa duniani. Baba ninakabiti huyu nduku mikononi mwako. Wenda amezumbuliwa kwa muta mrefu. Wenda ametatizwa na matatizo na mapepo inayomwandama. Ambaye mesumbua katika maisha yake Ambaye memufanya hata haendelei Ninachukua mamulaka na uwezo Ambaye umetupa katika jina lako Ulisema katika jina langu watatoa pepo Ulisema kwa jina langu wataweka mikono yao juu ya wagonjwa Na hao wagonjwa watapona Katika jina la yesu poke uponyaji Katika jina la yesu poke uponyaji Katika jina la Yesu pokea uponyaji. Katika jina la Yesu pokea uponyaji. Sandi mutakativu. Sandi kwa uchili ya uimama. Nina muweka mikono ni mwako. Mimi ziku jua mekuja kwa shida gani. Lakini we unajua shida yake. Baba nina muenua mikono ni mwako. Niki mufunika na damu ya Yesu. Nina kemea laana ya damu. Ambaye naweza kufuata katika ukoo. Ambaye naweza kusumbua na kunyanyasa. Kwa jina la Yesu upate kuyondoa. 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 Baba ukaleta amani. Kama watu hao walifanywa na mguvu za uganga. Kama kuna mchawi anailalia vitu vyake. Kama kuna waganga ambao wamewafunga. Kama kuna mtu alirokota vitu na kupelekea wakanga. Ili wanakalia hiyo binyako. Ninangua mahali ambapo viko. Ninangua mahali ambapo viko. 
Ninapomua mitungi yao. Ninapomua hiyo mitungi. Ninapomua hata machupa. Ninapomua hata makelazi. Ninapomua mahali wameweka uchawi. Mahali wanafanya uchawi na ukanga. Ninaangamiza hivi sasa. Ninakataa hivi sasa. Katika jina la Yesu ibada kushindwa. Kwa jina la Yesu ibada kushindwa. Kwa jina la Yesu ibada kushindwa. Baba nimesimama mahali hapa. Kuombea na hata wengine ambao hawajakuja mahali hapa. Wewe unawaona mahali ambapo wako. Wewe unawajua mahali ambapo wako. Ninafunja nguvu za muovu shetani. Yule ambaye ametembea na misisi hapa. Yule ambaye ameweka rizi. Anayetekemea rizi. Anayeenda kwa waganga. Anayeenda kwa miungu ili kuzumbua watu wako. Ninapomoa hiyo miungu. Ninapomoa hiyo uganga. Ninangua mahali wameweka. Ninaisambaratiza mahali wameweka pesa ya watu. Mahali wameweka makaratazi. Mahali wameweka mazatifiketi. Ninapomoa sasa. Ninangua sasa. Ninaangamiza mahali iko. Ninajua Roho Mtakatifu unajua mahali ambapo wameweka. Mahali ambapo binalalia. Ninaangamiza hizo nguvu zote. Ninaziteketeza zote. Ninasiangamiza zote katika ipate kushindwa Sandi mtakatifu pokea sifa na utukufu Sandi bwana yale ambayo siwezi kuomba wacha roho wa Mungu atuombe kwa jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na muombezi wetu Tupekee bwana makofi jameni Pekeeni bwana makofi Pekee bwana makofi Mungu akubariki Barikiwe sana God bless you Tunashukuru Mungu kwa hiyo pindi. Asante wachungaji kwa wabariki sana. Ah, ndugu kibiso. Tuletee hiyo team. My brother Robert Evans na wengine. Tunataka tutoe faraja zetu. Na hawa wapendwa watatembea tu wakufikie mahali ambapo uko. Ninaomba wanapokuja hivyo allow me to allow the choir waendelee kuimba awapendo wanapotembea tutoe faraja zetu tukikumbuka muda wetu program ni saa saba na dakika 15 tuna mulaza mzee waimbaji haleluya Yumamba, yeye aliye juu yumam, yumamba, Yesu yumamba, Alleluia. Alleluia. Okay, Rabbi. Yumamba, yeye aliye juu yumam, anaweza, Yesu anaweza, Alleluia. Anaweza, Yesu anaweza. Anaweza yeye aliyeju anaweza mfariji Yesu mfariji haleluya mfariji Yesu mfariji haleluya mfariji Yesu mfariji yeye aliyeju mfariji
Yesu mwana wa nyasa eta yante Tayange Tayange haleluya Tayante Yesu tayante Haleluya Tayante Yesu tayante Yesu mwana wa nyasa eta yante Yakutu maini sina Dam yake bwana sina we mawa kutosha dhambi zangu kusiosha cha kutuma ini sina ila damu yake bwana sina we mawa kutosha dhambi zangu kusiosha kwake yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama Ndiye mwamba ni salama Njia yangu iwe ndefu Yeye unipa okofu Mawimbi ya kini pinga Ngufu za kendizo nanga Kwa ke Yesu nasimama Ndiye mwamba ni salama Ndiye mwamba ni salama Ndiye mwamba ni salama Anawe Anaweza 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 Baba Anaweza 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 Mufariji 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 Kiongozi 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 Anaweza 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 Nimushindi 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 Asha Stafadhali Tuarakisha Kidogo Tuarakisha Kidogo Nimushindi 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 Anahuya Aleluya 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 Anaweza 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 Edamu ya kena sadaka Na tekeme ya daima Yote chini ya kisha Moko zi ya tanitosha E kwa ke yesu na simama Ndiye mwamba ni salama Ndiye mwamba ni salama Ndiye mwamba ni salama E wapende ma Wapende ma E wapende ma Baba wapende ma Tuimbe Oh wapende ma He wapende ma Baba wapende ma Jehova wapende ma Wanapolia wapende ma He wapende ma Baba wapende ma Tuimbe Oh wapende ma E wapende ma E kweli wapende ma Muchi u wapende ma E wapende ma Baba wapende ma Jehova wapende ma Oh wapende ma E wapende ma Wapende ma Jehova wapende ma Ya kuomba wapende ma E wapende ma Baba wapende ma Kweli wapende ma Oh wapende ma E wapende ma Baba wapende ma My brother Lenat Pastor Lenat Pastor Lenat Kuja ombea sadaka
Ni asante Mungu wetu kwa neema kubwa ambayo umetupatia kuja tukaomboleze na familia hii. Jina lako litukuzwe, jina lako liinuliwe kwa ajili ya kila mmoja ambaye ameweka mkono kwa mfuko wake akatoa mfalme faraja hizi ile zikasaidie jamii mfalme kuendelea kuomboleza na ukawatie nguvu na kuwawezesha baba Mungu wetu akakubali kuanza mwendo huu bila mzazi huyu asante kwa kila mmoja ambaye ametoa baba ukambariki na ukamuinue ili mfalme asikakose bali akawe na vingi vya kutoa mahali pengine tena asante kwa sababu utatenda kupitia kwa Yesu Kristo tumeomba tukiamini amen asante kwa asante asante sana nashukuru Mungu familia tusimame familia tusimame pastor Ruth kujaombea familia familia wasimame Mirembe kubana wange mirembe Haleluya Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo takatifu hapa takatifu tuacha mikononi mwako mchana wa leo Kristo tunasema asante kwa sababu ulitupea baba kangai na umemchukua kwa nafasi ambaye imekupendeza amewacha uzao jamii community kanisa na serikali we ni mfarichi wa ukweli watakasa uwafunike na damu ya Yesu Kristo Vitu vyote vichafu visiche vikaandamane pamoja na jamii ya Kangai. Tunataka tukatae Jehova maswali na visababu katika jina la Yesu baada kushindwa. Wenye kutembea na kuleta hofu katika nyumba hii baba, tunakataa katika jina la Yesu. Simamisha wasichana, simamisha vijana, simamisha wajukuu, simamisha relatives na kanisa kwa chumu la baba tunaomba asante. Asante kwa mfariji wa ukweli. Wameanza mwendo mpya without a mother, without a father, but Jesus you are the father and the mother of this family. Take care, protect and love them. Direct in any way that you need them to go baba. Na njia takatifu ni njia Yesu Kristo. Baba utatembea pamoja nao, utakaa pamoja nao, utaanza pamoja nao, utakuwa pamoja nao, utawalinda, utawabarikia kwa hii safari ambayo ni safari mpya. There are total waiters, there are total orphans in the eyes of God. But baba utakuwa baba wao na utawalinda. Yote tunawaacha Kristo. Tukisema utasingira familia hii baba na nguvu za Yesu Kristo na ni katika jina la baba la mwana la Roho Mtakatifu. Asante. Klaka wakota nataka uchukulie mahali pale. Ninaacha program saa 6 na 41. Na tunazika mzee saa 7 na 15. Asante kwa vumilivu wenu. Hasa kanisa, marafiki na jamii ambayo imefiwa. Mimi Naona tunaendelea vizuri tuna wageni jana tulikuwa na fursa mzuri kama KBF kwota tulikuwa na onelaji hapa na tulimaliza vizuri siku ya leo najua kuna wageni wa kanisa kutoka tabaka mbalimbali wacha tu nichukue fursa hii kumalika kiongozi wetu wa kanisa letu ya EM North atambue viongozi na wageni ambao wametutembelea leo afla hii ya kuzika mzee Wacha nimkaribishe klaka wetu karibu Benjamin Sabuni ili ujulishe wageni wengine karibu bwana Asante kanisa letu uh, kweka family ya Livingstone 
waomba dasachu wote pamoja na governor in waiting MPs in waiting MCS in waiting taku msalamia wote kwa china la Yesu Kristo hamjambo praise god asante kwa kufika uh, nataka tuchukue sehemu hii ambayo tunaenda kuwa na usemi tuchukue muda kidogo sana na kabla hiyo nataka kuambia familia ya Livingstone ya kwamba wacha Mungu wa amani akamtsingire akamtembese akamfungulie milango because you people naona kama papa na mama molded somebody nataka kusema asante kwa kasi ya wapendwa ambao umelala kanisa letu nataka kumshukuru kwa kuja pamoja kunena na hawa kuwafunika paridi nataka kusema Mungu wa amani akaziti kukaa nanyi nafasi hii nataka tu kutambulisha a few uh, kama na in waiting just rest for a short time uh, we shall invite you please uh, nataka wana kanisa letu other call limits kama mmekuja muko nasi karibu other call limits other than kabuyefwe can you stand tumtambulishe tuone mlikuja kulia na wenzenu asante silence means okay asante that is kitale call meeting mungu ampariki sana asante other call meetings asante ah uh, nataka kutambua ya limit yetu programs na wale ambao wanafanya kazi ndani yake simameni tumtambue we are short of time please asante asante usfw asante is only usfw na trust mama come and say hi asante familia ya mwenda sake waombolezaji wote kanisa la marafiki bwana yesu na siwe familia pole mimi nimeongea sana katika hii familia na leo ni kusema tu ya kwamba Mama Kenya alinipikia akanituma. Akasema hata kuwa nisimame kwa niapa na niseme pole. Na akasema vile mnaanza mwendo mpya. Mmefungua ukurasa mpya. Pila Papa Livingstone na Mama Gladys. Wa mama hao wamesema kwa niapa ya mama Kenya amesema wa mama wote wa Kenya watakuwa mama wenu. Mkiwahitaji watakuwa. Hiyo nyumba wataingia, wataomba. Kama mtafunga, watasimama kwa gate, watawaombea. Na Mungu wa maana wabariki. Naitwa mama Margaret Wanyonyi. Asante. Kuna mupiri mmoja ametoka mahali mzali saliwa ako nas can you come and say pole ako nas mupiri moja kutoka maragodi just come and say pole oh ah wenye familia kanisa andalizi na waombolezaji wote pamoja na wanasiasa Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amini kusema poleni kumpoteza mzee akwa niaba ya kanisa viga yearly meeting nikiwa mchungaji wa quarterly meeting ndoguyu 
ambapo mzee alizaliwa nasema poleni Mungu wa amani akatubariki sote naitwa pastor Wellington Kidaki Asante Ah uh, mzee Livingston sasa amekuwa na marafiki Taka huyu mzaa aseme tu pole kwa familia na tunyamasi hapo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nasema sande kwa wote ambao wamekuja Nasema sande kwa sababu mimi ni ya ukoo hii mimi nazaliwa kwa ukoo huu ingawa nakaa kitali lakini najua ya kwamba hawa ni watu yangu na mzee au familia hii imebaki na watoto ningesema tu wanajua wanaona kuna yatima wengine wakamate neno la Mungu jinsi muhubiri amehubiri tu Muta kikaa hivyo ana insurance ambayo inatosha. Mimi kwa majina ni Jamin Kadashia na kaa Kitale. Asanteni. Ah, uh, huyo am represent all senior citizens wetu. Nataka kusema mkiwa hapo chini tutasema asante waje Mungu wa amani akamtetee. Nataka nipate clerk wangu atambulishe the whole church ya EAYM North then to Tambu FCK then to end ngambo hii kwa waheshimiwa haraka haraka kwa sababu the church should take very short time and before that mama Kenya retired can you come and say something on behalf of mama mama Oh. Karabu mama. No, no, mama Karabu falls under the token of somebody else. Ah, uh, clock. Clock, karibu. Clock, karibu. Asanti wapendwa katika matanga haya the political wing churches from all over Kenya wapendwa hamjambo anajukua nafasi hii imefika kwa kuchelewa kwa ajili ya matanga imekuwa mengi I've just lost a, a daughter to my brother in law principal kabula who has been moved to busia dio tumemweka eh mochari this morning tupange mipango yake dio ikafanya kuchelewa huku otherwise nishukuru kwa kanisa lote eh kwanza nishukuru quarterly meetings katika mpango ambao umekuwa hapa nishukuru fc K Clark kwa muungano ambao tumekuwa pamoja nao katika matanga haya. Nishukuru all pastors ambao wamekuwa hapa kwa ajili ya kazi hiyo. Nishukuru steering committee tulipoiweka ingawa tujakuwa pamoja but I know things have worked that's why we are seated here. Familia ya mzee Livingstone na toa rambi rambi zangu pamoja na saa EYM North tunajua ya kwamba imekuwa vigumu katika jamii hii lakini tunachuweka katika mikononi mwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ajili tunajua hiyo ndiyo njia nasema ni hayo kwa sababu mumepakia nyinyi sasa imekuwa kiungo ya kanisa letu na wale ambao watatimiza maagano ambayo mzee aliweka ili tupate kujua ya kwamba inatimilika kwa njia gani tunajua he has had some programs wakati alikuwa 
na alifikiria kwamba yale yatatimika lakini imekatishwa njiani i hope and expect ya kwamba katika jamii hii tuko na watoto ni wakubwa you are the ones to stand in that space ili tuone ya kwamba imetimilika kwa sababu msame amekuwa kiungo kikubwa katika kanisa hili but because you are mature enough vile viungo vitakuwa tu kwa ajili ya upendo ambao mtakuwa nao katika kanisa hili ikiwa hivyo itakuwa vizuri sana tusiti kuombeana kwa ajili ya haya ili tuone ya kwamba Mungu atatupatia nafasi hiyo tupo tuma ichachi ni washukuru sana kwa sababu mmekuwa pamoja e, kuanzia FCK ni shukuru sana e, wim, e, USFW Kenya kwa muitikio ambao mulikimbia mara ya kwanza najua ya kwamba maombi ambayo ilikuwa katika nyumba hii ndio imefanya tumeshikana mpaka wakati huu kwa hivyo e, katika hali hiyo nasema ni asante sana na nichukue nafasi hii maybe we have some clerks from other yearly meetings if they are with us nikusimama tu yearly meeting clerks from other yearly meetings i have had one akaingia the other side santi 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 asante mulinzi on our yearly meeting majina yangu ni kennedy simbaoni presiding clerk kamsinga hii ali meeting. Bwana Matanga nataka kusema tu pokeeni rambi rambi kutoka kamsinga. Huyo alikuwa ni mzee ni baba yetu kwa kanisa Endaya Church Friends Church in Kenya. Familia tunasema pole na vile mhubiri amesema wacha tukae pamoja tusidi katika maombi. Mungu nao bariki. Aombeshaji wote ambao walikuja kufunga watoto wa Angai kamba hamjambo majina yangu ni, m- ni mzee mkongwe pasta mkongwe anatoka Elgon East ni rafiki wa Kangai kupitia kwa mama Gladys mimi nilikuwa nakuja hapa nikimuombea nikitoka ki- Kinyoro na niliposikia kwamba nitangazwa kwa radio ya kwamba ame- ameaga nikasema nitajaribu kama ni wesavyo niche nione watoto wa Kangai natambua huyo msito tu ambayo tunaweza nimpata hapa siku moja lakini hawa watoto wengine siwajui lakini mparikiwe msimame kibete kama wasasi wenyu walikuwa wakifanya kasi ya Mungu na mpate kuparikiwa amina bwana isa asifiwe asifiwe tena wale wenye wameachwa tunasema pole na huko ni nyumbani vile wametuambia Hatuna shida kwa sababu Mungu mwenyewe akichukua huwa anashika ushukani. Mimi mama na tulifanya naye kazi hata wakati mama Jennifer alikufa hapo tukakucha tukalala kwa hii nyumba na baba. Sasa vile nilisikia baba ameaka nikasema mama tulikuja tukamsika na siku ya leo lazima niwe hapa nimalize kazi ya baba. Kwa majina naitwa Janet Walucho natoka Lugulu yearly meeting na mbarikiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naitwa mchungaji Moses wa nyama wa ibale. A retired general superintendent from Elkon East. Kwa niapa ya year meeting ya Elkon East Mission Commission tunaleta rambi rambi kwa jamii. Mimi binafsi kama rafiki ya huyu baba ambao amelala naleta rambi rambi yangu na familia yangu kwa maana huyu mwese nilimchua mwaka wa 1974 when i joined the Kenya Post and Telecommunication which was East African Post and Telecommunication tulifanya na ye kasi Saiti ya miaka ishirini. Tulishiriki naye na marehemu Kratis na Robbie Yali meeting. Saiti ya miaka ishirini. 
tulistaafu wakaendelea na kasi ya Mungu mimi nikaacha nyumbani na kaa kiminini nikaendelea na kasi ya Mungu kwa hiyo miaka ambao Mungu ametupatia hao wamelala na ile mepaki tu ni kuomba Mungu afariki familia yake na tuendelee na safari kwa hayo machachi Mungu awabariki Santi Santi Office ya yale meeting if they are with us yes amen kwa dad Office ya yale meeting Office ya yale meeting Just wave Santi Santi Ah uh, najua ndio nimefika Waje nione wahubiri kama wako. Wahubiri tafadhali simameni. Wahubiri. Can we Nashukuru kwa kasi yenu na muungano wenyu. Thank you. May I take this opportunity to welcome Clark FCK tafadhali. Asante Clark you are not a family ya mama Gladys na Maremu Livingston hai kwa mbolesaji wote amjambo amjambo mimi kwa majina naitwa Henry Mkwanja mimi mkaasi hapa Kabiefwe kiminini nataka kuleta rambi rambi zangu na za wengine ambao wamefanya kasi na familia hii kwanza asante mwenaji wa siku ya leo umetulisha ya kutosha asante kwa nyimbo ambazo tumepata kutoka kwa kwaya asante wengine wote ambao wametoka mbali na karibu kwa chili ya kufariji familia hii asante wale ambao wametoka katika hii limit zetu zingine nimeona biika iko hapa chabakari wako kaimosi wako asante kuja kusimama pamoja na north ya limit Ningalipenda nitambue wengine wafuatao ili niweze kutoa rambi rambi za wengine ili tuweze kuendelea. Kwanza asante kunipa heshima hiyo kuweza kusimamia kipindi hiki. Lakini mimi mamlaka yangu ya French Church in Kenya nilipeana jana kwa kijana mwingine baada ya kuteuliwa kwenda kuhudumu katika nafasi nyingine kwa Africa Peace Commission na hapa Kenya tunafanya na NCIS kwa ajili ya kutafuta amani katika inji yetu. Ningelipenda nitambue wafuatao na nileta rambi rambi zao. Rambi rambi za kwanza nimeleta rambi rambi za Quakers katika Kenya. Wote wameleta rambi rambi zao. Familia mkupali rambi rambi zetu. Ya pili nimeleta rambi rambi ya Friends United Meeting ambayo ni kitengo cha Quakers katika Kenya na Afrika mzima. Ya tatu nimeleta rambi rambi za Friends World Committee for Consultation wao wawili hawakuweza kuwa pamoja nasi wametuma rambi rambi zao kupitia kwangu ya mwisho nimeleta rambi rambi kutoka NCCK mama Gladys alikuwa mocha wanawake 1982 alikuwa kwa desk women desk na walipitisha kwamba kina mama wapewe nafasi katika uongozi ona tangu 1982 ndipo Kenya inaendelea kufikia kiwango hicho kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu kutupa Gladys Kangahi na Livingston Kangahi. Kumalisa niko na wasichana hapa wawili ambao ningelipenda wao wache hapa watoe rambi rambi zao alafu nimalise. Wasichana wangu shosho na wasichana wako. Shosho Shosho na wasichana wako. Hawa ni wasichana wangu ndio wamewakilisha Afrika mzima katika ofisi yetu. Karibu wa mama. Mama wanapokuja na nashukuru na, na mzee 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 huu yuko pamoja nasi asante hao ni wasichana wangu kutoka Afrika ngawaje natoka Kenya lakini walifanya kasi na mama Gladys na mzee Livingstone wako na shosho yao uh, monthly meeting ya kabuyefwe na mkutano kwa jumla familia ya baba na mama Kangahi 
wale wa familia kwa upana na wote ambao tumekusanyika hapa kwa ajili ya kuomboleza ningependa kuwasalimu kwa jina la Kristo hamjambo hamjambo tena Bwana Yesu asifiwe asante na shukuru kwa hii nafasi e, ni nafasi ambayo mimi naichukua kwa kunyenyekea mimi naweza kujiita mtoto wa Mama Gladys na uh, Le, Le, Livingstone Kangahi. Maana huko nje Nairobi wao ndio walinikuza kiroho. Walinichukua kama mtoto katika kanisa la Langata. Nimekuwa pamoja na hawa dada na ndugu zangu like brothers and sisters. I am like their elder sister. Na tulikuwa vizuri wakatuweka katika hali ambayo ilikuwa ya kumjua Mungu. Mimi nilikuwa na uoga mwingi nikiwa bado lakini mama Gladys pamoja na mzee walikuwa wananiambia wacha uoga. Leadership nikipewa nilikuwa na uoga lakini waliweza kunihimiza. Mkinikubalia tu kama kuna mmoja au wawili kutoka Langata Langata Friends Church Langata Friends Church wale tulikuwa nao Nairobi yako pale. Asante. Na shukuru kwa hii nafasi. Jina langu naitwa Janet Agoi nikiwa mtumishi katika ofisi ya Fre United Society of Friends Women Kenya kama mweka hazina na wa mjengo ambao tunajenga pale Kakamega Handidi. Na katika yearly meeting natoka Vihiga yearly meeting. Barikiwe sana. Naam salimu nyota hamjambo kwa majina ni Zaidi Kagalabu e, former USFW Clark Kenya nataka shukuru Mungu kwa hiyo miaka nilifanya nilipata ushauri mwingi sana kutoka kwa hiyo nyumba mama na baba nilikuwa kama mtoto wao e, na naweza kusema familia ya Kangai they have had a special attachment to USFW Kenya. Na sema pole eh, watoto wa Kangahi tuendelee kuwa marafiki, tuendelee kuwa jamii. Si tasema mengi kwa maana nina mama hapa nyuma ambao walifanya na mama Gladys kutoka Nairobi hadi hapa chini wakati wa, wa project yetu na mambo hii mengi na Mungu ambariki wote. Marafiki wote hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Livingston Kangai nilimjua in 60s. A Gladys naye tulisoma naye. Wakati tulikuwa bado tunatafutana. Ilikuwa naona akituma tu barua na unajua butere walikuwa wanasoma barua wanaita tukiwa lunch hour hapo kwa dining hall sana uliza Gladys ai leo wewe umebahatika ni nani anasema ni chava <laughs> chava mnajua ni wapi chava kali bas tunaenda tunazungumza mambo yako kwa barua saa zingine tunasema ah wacha na hiyo puzi wacha tuendelee na masomo so you can imagine tulijuana tukiwa wasichana Gladys akiwa mtoto wangu shuleni akiwa mtoto wangu kwa damu kule Busali ambapo mama Jineta amezaliwa na Livingstone naye wakasoma na mzee wangu huko Chava So we have done quite a lot with this family Sometimes we call each other brother and sister Sometimes and many times living so ananiita mama yangu. Nikiingia kwa hii nyumba anauliza oh mama nimefurahi umekuja nianze kunyonya. Na tumefanya kazi. Tukishukuru Mungu kwa mema. Nataka kusema miaka ya sabini plus sio miaka mizuri. Unapofika katikati ya miaka hiyo unajua huko njiani unaenda. Kwa hivyo nataka kusema Kangai pamoja na Gladys 
walijipanga vilivyo na tunaomba roho zao ziweze kupumzika na amani na watoto walio wajukuu wangu mupo wakina stano egri mupo mupo ama si mupo muko si nivyo mnaonekana vizuri mmejipanga vizuri nataka mshikilie hapo hapo sitasema at gladis na kangai wamewacha mayatima hapana nyinyi ni watu wazima shikilieni safari na muendelee nayo nataka kusema vile mama Magret amesema hii nyumba ni yetu wana Kenya tunakula pale tunalala pale tunaombea pale na hawa mama wote ambao mnawajua ndio mama Zen call on any one of them we shall all be in this house and pray together with you na hata msipotoita tutakuwa tunaomba kila mahali tulipo ili mkaweze kuendelea na safari zenu mimi naitwa shosho ya watoto na tena shosho ya kanisa la friends mbarikiwe asante mmeona shosho amesungumza nataka yule kijana ambaye mwachia kazi ametuma rambi rambi zake kupitia kwa huyu mchungaji kutoka na Robbie Yale meeting karibu uh, na wasalimu katika jina la Sam Jambo mbore mirembe amjambo amjambo huko uh, mimi jina langu naitwa Wellington Jahonga kama mwingine alisema naitwa Wellington kumbe tuko wengi na shukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya safari ya mzee baba wetu na watoto wa mzee nasema Mungu awabariki Mungu walinde na Mungu atawale maisha yenu mtakuwa mnanichukua kuwa you are super sibling mahali muko na agri na na, na stanili mkifaulu mnikumbuke tunaenda sambamba ah sinaleta salamu kutoka kwa super presiding clerk Nairobi ile meeting anaitwa ndugu Stephen Magwiru nilimwambia nitakuwa huko na akasema uh, lazima mnisimamishe na nimekushukuru mlinzi wangu amenisimamisha nilete salamu na rambarambi za uh, ndugu wetu super presiding clerk Nairobi ile meeting Stephen Magwiru ambaye amechukua tena wadhifa wa huyu mzee amembariki afanya kazi ya Mungu katika Friends Church in Kenya. Kwa hivyo mbarikiwe na mkimuona ndugu Stephen Magwiru mwambie nilifikisha salamu zake na kila mmoja wetu aweze kubarikiwa. Kwa hivyo watoto wetu msinisahau mnikumbukane. Mungu awabariki. Uh, kwa hizo rambi rambi na washukuru watu ambao wameleta hizo rambi rambi yangu ni mambo mawili kwa agri na familia yenu bila mmeona Mse Livingston Kangai engineer pamoja na mama Gladys wamekuwa mama ya mkutano wa kweka katika Kenya na Afrika mzima ndiyo sababu tumeleta Afrika yote mzima iko hapa kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu kutupa mtu kwa jina la Livingston Kangai na mama Gladys naleta rambi rangu zangu pinafsi kwa sababu tumekula tumejifunza tumefaidika kwa mikono ya baba wenu na mama wenu ya mwisho vile nimesema nimepeana kijiti cha French Church in Kenya na nimeteuliwa kuingia kwa kasi nyingine Africa Peace Commission na katika Kenya hapa nitakuwa nafanya na NCIS ile kamati ambayo kitengo chake kinahusika na mambo ya amani katika inji yetu na jamii zetu. Nitakuwa nikitembea Afrika mzima hasa kwa zile sehemu ziko na migogoro Horn of Africa na Central Africa. Kenya tunajua ya kwamba tunaenda kuingia katika uchakuzi siku sabini na nane kutoka leo na ujumbe wetu kama viongozi wa kanisa, ujumbe wetu kama NCIS ni kwamba sisi tuende kwa uchakuzi wa amani. Tunaomba wale ambao wanatafuta kura na ufasi wenu mtafuta kura kwa amani 
ili tutakapomaliza kura tuendelee kuishi pamoja hasa wale wafuasi ambao wanafuata viongozi wetu ukimaliza kura utarudi tu kwa nyumba yako ile ya room moja ama room yako ya, ya room 20 utarudi kwa kitanda chako cha magogo ama kwa kitanda kile uko nacho lakini ile ya muhimu tunawahimisa tuweze kuchakua viongozi ambao wako na maadili wataweza kulinda maslahi na maisha wa na Kenya. Kwa hiyo mengi na machache familia mbarikiwe, mfarijike, mjue kwamba familia ya mama na baba wako pamoja nani. Mimi God bless you. Asante Clark. Uh, machina yangu ni Benjamin Sabuni. Vice Clark wa wa M North. Nataka ni break the, the protocol we normally follow. Nataka kumkaribisha Mheshimiwa Kavana in waiting ametaka atoke haraka but we are holding on to him please na yeye anachoa time management sidhani kama atatupeleka mbaya na wataka wafuata na chuo atakuja hivyo hivyo Bwana Yesu asifiwe God is good all the time basi kwa majina naitwa mheshimiwa dr chris wamalwa mimi ndio mbunge wa eneo hili la kiminini kwa niaba yangu kwa niaba ya familia yangu na watu wa kiminini naleta rambi rambi kwa familia ya engineer agre pamoja na ndugu zako nasema poleni sana kwa kupoteza baba yenu najua nyinyi ni wa kristu na ukisoma Biblia the book of Ecclesiastes the Bible says there is time for everything there is time to be born and there is time to die Baba wenu huyu mlimpenda sana lakini Mwenyezi Mungu alimpenda zaidi Mama alienda so you are now total orphans But the Bible says ni Mungu wa mayatima Mlilie kwa Mwenyezi Mungu najua mmelia sana But again in the book of Revelations the Bible says it's only the Lord who will wipe all your tears. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi vile vile hapa mchango sikuleta lakini sichatembea bure. Niko na kidogo ya kusaidia familia ya shilingi 1030. Kanisa ya kweka na washukuru. Mzee Mkwanja anasema asante sana you've been praying for me. I really want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate Mama Ruth you've been praying for me. I want to thank you so much for that. Na mzee webale you've been praying for me nikiwa mbunge. Sasa naomba tuongezee maombi ya governor ile maombi kubwa kubwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Biblia inasema uongozi inatoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Mimi naomba mweke kwa maombi. Mungu akijalia nikiwe governor ninyoroshe hii kaunti ya Transoya. Wale mmenijua mimi nikiwa mbunge wa kiminini Mnanijua ile mazuri mnanijua ile mabaya mnanijua Mswahili anasema usiache mbachao kwa mswala upitao na mzungu anasema better the devil you know than the angel you don't know Omo amiesu afume mtaendelea kuniombea ni chongoe hii tengeneza hii transoya mimi katika siasa yangu naweka Mwenyezi Mungu mbele na ule mzee ameubiri leo umehubiri mzuri sana. Mimi katika siasa yangu sijawahi kuanguka kura. Na ni kwa sababu ya huyu Mwenyezi Mungu. Mimi naomba usiku na mchana. Umesema wengine wanatembea wanatafuta rizi, wengine wanatafuta sirere. Na hapo no kunne sirere bale. Sirere ni nyanya yako msiye kura. Maana bali Kenya bu governor na wala kumbe kona ngaongezia anende sirere. Lakini nyinyi wenyewe ndio mtajua. Ndio tunasema heri shetani unayejua kuliko ile pepo uwezi jua. Naoneze Kristo mwalani olio, ninajua ubaya wangu, mniweke kwa Mwenyezi Mungu, mniombe. Na kwa sababu umeomba mzuri, hata mimi niko na shilingi 1500 ya kusaidia muhubiri kwa upande ya mafuta akirudi nyumbani. Na mzee mkwanja wewe, I want to wish you well. I want to wish you well in the new appointment. It is very very critical. Wewe enda usaidie kazi Professor Kobia. Kwa sababu we have no any other country. Na wakati huu Tunaomba wananchi tukuwe na kura ya amani. Tunaomba viongozi wakiomba kura, ombe kura ya amani. 
na ukiomba kura na fujo fujo hawa wanaija waweza kukupigia kura mzee makwanja na kushukuru usaidie uko juu mzee kobia tumekuwa na shida na yeye kidogo kidogo kwa sababu wakati mwingine anapendelea upande mmoja na mimi najua ukiwa hapa vile nakujua utasaidia kunyorosha maneno na mimi kama mwanasiasa tuna hapa ya kwamba tunaenda kufanya campaign peaceful campaign mimi naomba tu maombi ya Mwenyezi Mungu haya watu wako mnione bomu nisalamie asanteni sana na muendelee kuniombea thank you and god bless you nimeona mheshimiwa dr tabodabo wako nimeona mheshimiwa mheshimiwa mca wa hapa eric yuko hapo nimeona mheshimiwa kutitila yuko hapo sasa mheshimiwa tabodabo ulisema unaenda kulia anti yako wewe pia kuja kuja tu kuanzia juu tumaliza maliza alafu tuendelee asanteni sana wakweka na Mwenyezi Mungu aendelee kuwabariki god bless you kanisa takatifu familia jamii waombolezaji wa injinia bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe tena hecha kumlembe kwa injinia pale hebu mbona hoki mkono kwenye kimlembe kwa injinia asante mimi nataka kuchukua pia fursa hii kwa niaba yangu na familia yangu kusema pole kwa ndugu zangu dada zangu kwa kupoteza baba yenu najua baba ni mtu wa maana sana dunia hii has been your counsel your advisor and your everything so akituondokea namna hiyo inakuwa jambo ngumu mimi nataka kuambia kwamba waacha Kristo achukue nafasi ya baba na ongoze kila jambo yenye mnafanya mimi nawaombea hiyo na mimi pia nataka kuombea roho ya baba wetu Mungu ailaise mahali pema mimi kwa jina naitwa daktari Joseph wa Fulabo hapana gain watu wanasikia tu dabo dabo wanashangaa na huyu dabo dabo ni nani si mnajiulizanga dabo dabo ni nani mamu buone ni mtoto wenu mimi nimesaliwa tu hapa weonia Nimesomea tu hapa msharake primary paka class 8 na Mungu akanisaidia nikaenda paka nikafika chuo kikuu na sasa roho wa Mungu mwenyewe amenituma akasema rudi nyumbani ubadilishe maisha ya watu wako sasa mimi nimerudi na nasema waacha mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu yatendeke kwa sababu amenituma akasema nenda kwa watu wangu na ubadilishe maisha yao muko tayari Mko tayari kutumia na mtoto wenu. Mimi mwenyewe nimemtambua Kristo na mimi nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana. Kabla hata sijaanza hii safari ya kuweza kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kunipa hiyo fursa ya kutembea na nyinyi. Mimi nilienda mbele yake. Nilifunga na kufungua kwa hiyo maneno. Asante. Na sasa hata hilo jina dabo dabo ni wafalme wa pili, mlango wa pili, mstari wa tisa. Ni roho wa Mungu mwenyewe alinipatia akasema sasa maendeleo inayokuja inakuja kidabo dabo. Kila kitu ni kidabo dabo. Maendeleo kwa watoto wetu shuleni dabo dabo. Barabara dabo dabo. Hospitali dabo dabo. Mtatupikia kura. Asante sana. Asante. Mimi pia niko na pole yangu. Asante. Tapatia familia shilingi elfu kumi ya kuweza kuwafariji. Nami pia kwa sababu pasta ameongea vizuri na amenilisha neno nimeshiba mimi pia na mina ye mafuta yake asante na kwaya pia ya mzee pia mimi najua mmeimba vizuri na roho wa Mungu anashuka mkiimba mimi najua mmeimba vizuri na roho wa Mungu ameshiwa fanya nini kuchukua roho ya baba wetu hata nyinyi pia nataka kuamina kitu sitaki kusahau mtu mmoja pole ndugu yangu mtu mwenye ametengeneza nyumba ya baba pia mimi nataka pia kumkumbuka anione ni umine kitu. Asante sana na Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki. Asante sana. Before the MCA, the sitting MCA aongee. Tafadhali tulikuwa tumeita mheshimiwa aongee. But naona program inataka kuwa hijacked. Ukisoma program ni saa saba na dakika 15. Okay. Sitting MCA akimaliza 
tunamzika mzee sawa sawa karibu mheshimiwa asante karibu mheshimiwa kwa hivyo pastors ambao wako hapa idara ya wazee wa mama familia jamii serikali kiongozi na chifu wetu na maasisa na chifu ambao wako hapa nataka kuomba msamaa sababu tumefunja protocol kidogo sababu chifu ndio wangetuita na bwana chifu sababu ya muda na kanisa wameomba takika saa saba na nusu wanasika naomba wenzangu ambao mmekuja mmeona hali vile iko ili tusiweze kuimbiwa wimbo sababu protocol ya kanisa tunaifuata na tuna pia tunafuata vile wajungaji wamesema kwa hivyo tuko na matanga mingi ambayo kuna ingine kule amani na tunaomba ya kwamba wachungaji pia saa zingine tukiomba mnatusikiza kidogo sababu kama viongozi tufanye kazi pamoja otherwise mimi naombea tu ya kwamba mkuwe na amani tutengeneze e, tupike kampeni zetu vizuri na wale watu ambao wanararua picha za watu wengine opponents wengine tafadhali ukipatwa utashikwa hiyo ni warning kwa watu wetu otherwise mimi naomba tu ya kwamba kunikumbuka tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane mwezi kunirudisha katika kiti hiki otherwise wenzangu muko tukate kidogo bwana yesu asifiwe sana mimi kwanza ningependa kuambia familia pole na hata kanisa hiyo kanisa ya friends ambayo mzee alikuwa na shiriki nataka kuambia programa ya kwamba hiyo kanisa kata si yangu na mama wa county mama Janet na Ngabo ndio tulianza hiyo kanisa na ninafikiria kwamba vile tuko na ndugu yangu Agri pamoja na familia ninataka tena niseme kwa matanga ya baba ya kwamba hiyo lasima hiyo kanisa vile tulianza ni lasima tutasaidiana tuweze kumaliza hiyo kanisa ya marafiki kwa sababu nakumbuka mama alileta mapati akaleta mawe na hata wakati mama alikufa Kilatis madirisha hiyo kanisa ilikuwa kwa hii nyumba na ninafikiria kwamba lasima project yetu tulianza lasima tuweze kumaliza otherwise mimi sina mambo mengi mimi kama maombi mimi naomba Mungu kupitia kwenu tarehe tisa niweze kufaulu niweze kuendelea kufanya kazi ya Mungu na kazi ya wananchi Mungu wa amani aweze kumbariki Asante Ah kwa machina naitwa David Chuma Waswa wengi mnanichua mane mane mimi nami niko kwa hii kinyanganyiro ya kuomba ikiti ya MCS Hendu na siku ya leo ni siku ya kusindikisa baba sina maneno mengi nitatengeneza chukua yangu nikuje nitembee nikiusa sera sangu kwa hiyo machache nasema Mungu amani awabariki labda kuna kasadaka unaona familia asante sana bwana MC bwana Yesu asifiwe Nipungie mkono hewani tafadhali kama unaniona Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Muko salama. Salimia tu jirani yako na umwambie hizi ni zalamu za festas wa nyonyi nyongesa. Asante sana. Nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kupata nafasi kusimama mbele yenu uh, kwa sababu ya wakati sitaenda kwa mambo mengi. Nitasema ya kwamba tu nimesimamia hapa sihendu nikitafuta kiti cha UMCA. Na ninasema ya kwamba Niko na wenzangu ambao wamenitangulia ambao ni wawili wako hapa, Mheshimiwa Kutitila na Mheshimiwa Eric. Ile kazi wamefanya tumefurahia na naomba Mungu ya kwamba mwaka huu kama hawajafanya kwa ile kiwango ambaye inawapendeza, jamani nimkumbuke huyu kijana mdogo Festas wa Nyonyi Nyongesa. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Eh, kanisa Andalizi kanisa langu la Friends Church viongozi wa kanisa na waliotoka kule Maragori na watu wa Sihendu Bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena Muvendi Asanti mi naitwa Tony Lihanda Omari mkazi wa hapa Sihendu Mimi nasema pole sana kwa familia ya baba yetu Kangai kwa kumpoteza baba na kwa haraka sana pia naweza sema wakati wa kura umefika na hii kura tunataka tupige tupate kiongozi bora sio bora kiongozi kwa hivyo nawaomba katika wodi hii na kupanda juu 
mpige kura kwa hekima Gavana anatembea amechelewa kidogo anakuja lakini anafika hapa in the next 20 minutes mbarikiwe Bwana asifiwe Poleni sana mliofiwa pokeeni faraja zenu Mungu mwenyewe akawatie nguvu Pia mimi nimesimama hapa ninaomba hiki kiti cha MCS Hand Ward kama mama na waomba sana raundi hii munijaribu Munitume mjaribu mama muona akienda huko anaweza fanya nini. Na mimi na wahakikishia mkinituma huko kila mtaniambia nifanye nitati na hivyo ndivyo nitafanya. Mbarikiweni sana naitwa Dorcas Mayende niko kwa chama cha ODM. Asante mami, familia. Kanisa ndalizi. Jamii iliyo fiwa na waombolezaji wote. Na wasalimu kwa jina la Bwana Hamjambo. Kama unasikia sauti hii nipungie mkono. Mimi ninaitwa Dendrick Okech Okore. Ninatoka na Manjalala Kitale. Na mimefika hapa kusema pole kwa jamii hii. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa Weonia, nimeishi hapo na kusoma shule ya Kikwamit. Lakini leo hii nimekuja kuwaomba kwa unyenyekevu sana ya kwamba tarehe tisa Mwezi wa nane, Mungu awatumie mfungue roho zenu mnapofika hapo kwa ballot mnikumbuke sana ninawania kiti cha useneta Transoia County kwa tikiti ya jubilee na mimi ninafurahi kuna watu wamecheka na katika biblia Sara alicheka na malaika wakamwambia hapo mwakandi hiyo kicheko ndio itakuwa jina ya mtoto wako So mimi nataka tarehe tisa sisi wote tucheke kicheko ya ushindi wakati Okech amepita kura. Na katika Biblia story ya tajiri na Lazaro, Biblia ikaandikwa hivi. Ya kwamba tajiri akafa akazikwa na wakaweka full stop. Yaani kumaanisha story imeisha. Na ikaanza hivi. Na huko Joanamu Tajiri akaonekana akilia sana. Mimi nataka story hiyo ijurudie mwaka huu. Na iandikwe hivi. Kura ya Transoia ikapigwa full stop. Na ianze hivi. Na huko kwa Senate, Okech akaonekana akitetea wana Transoia. Wacha Mungu awabariki. Asante. Asante kwa ajili ya kanisa na hatutaki kupishana na kanisa ya kwamba tumeti na pia sisi kama viongozi tunaambia watu wetu ya kwamba kura tupike kwa amani na viongozi tusimie vijana wetu labda kupikia wengine makofi ama makelele otherwise tupike kura zetu kwa amani na nataka kuambia chiefs mali mupo mkuwe pamoja vile huwa tunafanya kazi yetu ili tuweza kutumisha amani katika eneo hili letu le Shendu otherwise Mungu wa amani awabariki familia abariki kanisa wanaorudi na Nairobi Mungu awe pamoja nanyi barabarani Asandani sana, mungu wa amani wa bariki. Uh, vote of thanks. Vote of thanks, my brother. Mwambulizaji uh, once again nasema habari ya mchana. We are sorry for extending time that the church had given us. But I have to take this opportunity on behalf of the entire Kangai family to thank you all for coming here to join us as we mourn, but not necessarily mourn, but as we celebrate the life of Mr. Livingstone in Bali, Kangai. Uh, I would want that all of us as we proceed to the Side. let us do it in an orderly manner and fashion but in all this and as Muse used to like saying don't strive too hard to be a good person work hard and be a good human being kwa hiyo yote ninasema asante sana kwa wote wale ambao mmefika hapa siku ya leo asanteni asante sana ndugu 
tumeweza kupata hizo rambi rambi za familia kushukuru kila mmoja ambaye amefika hapa ninaomba wachungaji wanaenda kuongoza ibada ama msafara wakaweze kusimama pasta Bramwe Lijoti ambaye utakabidhi wapendwa hawa mikononi mwa Bwana kanisa tutasimama tuna net familia wako na net tutaongozwa na hawa wahubiri pasta Pinisa uh, pasta Sintani Bramwell kazi ni kwenu kwa kazi ambayo imezalia wapendo tusimame wote tusimame wote tunataka tufunge kikao hiki kwa maombi wahubiri hawa wanapoenda kufanya kazi waimbaji tutaongozwa tutaongoza familia waweke net na wanajamii ndugu wa marehemu na jamii ninaona bado jeneza limefunguliwa tafadhali shukurikie hilo jambo uh, kabla hatujakamilisha ibada hii asanteni wapendwa Mungu awabariki pasta Bramwele Uh, mzee alikuwa na wachukuu wengi na pia tuko na wakweka wako hapa kwa hivyo hatutaomba tu wale wanaenda kuongoza ipada ya madhishi bila kuwa na wale wanaenda kutusaidia kupeba janesa tafadhali kucheni huku wa kusaidia kubeba janesa la mzee hao ndio nahitaji Msali kuwa na watu wengi sana wameenda nyumbani ama wameenda kukula ninawahitaji mbele ya kikao tuna tatu ombe pamoja nanyi eh wakweka kweka men oh pole ni sawa kusema wakweka kweka men eh wanafuganga tai nyekundu ya yeah. asande asande mgeni unasuia kasi yangu wacha tumshukuru Mungu baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru kwa wakati huu ni kwa maana tumekuwa na kipindi cha masumbuzo ambacho kimetuleta umbali huu wakati huu wapendo uliosimama mbele ya mkutano ni wahubiri ambao wanaenda kuongoza ipata ya maziko na wala watakayetusaidia hata kwa ajili ya kubeba jeneza asanda ni kwa maana utawapatia nguvu katika mikono yao saidi yote misingiti ambayo vinaweza jinua mbele zao tunangoa ili kwamba kazi ya kusindikisha mzee wa salama Mungu Jehova utaanza pamoja nasi tamati utakuwa ni wewe. Ni katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini. Na wakati tumo kwa msafara tutaji kelele. Ndoa ndoa wiki nyingi na kekorode. Kristo na pewe sifa. Ben. Aja bibi balise mwenye kwa yoto yo.
Mungu wetu Livingstone wao anapepea huo mwili tukifika mahali hapo tupate ya kwamba uko salama tafadhali wana ni maruzi dunia ni mahali wana koja koja anajua kwamba sanduku limeweza kufungwa
amewaweka ndugu zangu mbali nami na wanijuayo wamezengwa nami kabisa watu wa mbali yangu wamekoma rafiki zangu ni wapendao wamenisahau wakao nyumbani mwangu na vijakazi wangu wame wamenihesabu kuwa mgeni mimi ni mgeni majoni ha Sante baba ni kwa sababu maisha uliyopatia mzee Jamaweza Kwisha na ndugu zake na dada zake na wazazi wake watamuona tena safari yake ukaibariki ni kwa Yesu nimeomba na pamoja na daima amen Kucha mtupatia na pasi Ya Rona Serious Christmas please
would you again? Tu 
tuna mashukuru mne kwa sababu tuna sana ya kwamba aishie katika kwa aishi kwa Bwana na yule ambaye ataishi katika kwa Kristo safari yake wewe mwenyewe unaitaka tuna mashukuru kwa sababu ya maisha ambayo umepatia mzao wetu wewe sana na hapa tulio kwamba tunamweka juu ya kaburi nataka kutenda mwisho wa kiwili wili cha ndani ya kaburi Ombi la Mungu kwa Mungu ili wake ukaweze kufanywa na roho yake apokelewe na Mungu. Ni kwa Yesu ninaomba. Amen. Sakati mwili umetelemsha muwe kimya.